Bowls him. Well, four and out for us at air. KC pulls his length back. Might have just hit that little grassy patch I was talking about. Nips back in. The top of leg stump is castled. It was short and sweet for us at air. He's gone. Second ball for four. Would you anticipate a better start for the series? This is one of the most animated starts I've ever seen. The first ball smacked for a boundary. The second ball, the stumps dislodged. The very second ball of this home 500 Aryan Wolves tour of Nepal. And the big man will have to make his way back. So Rossadair is gone for four. Ireland Wolves four for one. Beats him outside the off stump. Yeah, young Cade Carmichael, certainly a name to watch. 21 years of age, one of the youngsters in this squad from the Instonians Cricket Club in Belfast, plays for the Northern Knights as well. Small lad, but does pack a big punch. And certainly he was named by several of his teammates as the one to watch throughout this tour. Invited for that drive, Karan Kisi. Was outside the line of off stump, a little too wide. And young Kate Carmichael didn't get his foot anywhere close to the ball. Fortunately, no harm done. Nicely driven, but Kushal Mala does enough to keep it to a single. Yeah, you certainly think of the different preparations for these two sides. For Nepal, they've been playing so much cricket. For many of this Irish squad, with the exception of those who were there in the UAE, I think five or six of them across the three different formats in that tour of Afghanistan there were in action. The rest have been training in freezing conditions. That's what Ryan Eagleson, the head coach, was saying to you this morning, Sachin. Five for one. Should not be much difficult for the Irish side to acclimatize here, Andrew. Got Karen Casey excited for a moment. But there was no bat involved at all. You can just see it there, can't you? That sort of grassy patch, probably not a full length, but just slightly back of a length from this end. And it's actually, that's even pitched short of that. And significant movement, great take from Asif Sheikh down the leg side. But yeah, it's a big adjustment for Ireland, particularly the, the young guys who have been training either in Belfast or the, the Queen's Indoor Centre or in North County, in North County, Dublin. Been a lot of snow, a lot of rain about freezing cold conditions to come out here in the sunshine in Nepal. Beautifully driven. That's going to be four. The second boundary in the over gets us to the end of the first. Ireland Wolves, nine for one. So, uh, action packed start, what we expect throughout the rest of the series. Nine runs and a wicket from the first over. It'll be Sampal Kami to get things going from the pavilion end of the ground. Actually, Stephen Dohany on strike facing his first ball. One of those other guys who has had a lot of experience at the top level, some ODI cricket in particular. And there'll be plenty of this Irish squad looking to force their way into T20 World Cup contention. 
the Nepali side. Now they're looking to consolidate and then actually stabilize the playing 11 or the, or the 15 men squad. We saw plenty of experimenting in the previous series, few series. I had a small chat with Monty Desai regarding the same thing and he agreed that Nepal are now looking to build a stable team for that Isha Cup qualifier and also the big World Cup that's to be played after two months in the United States and in the Caribbean. Decent start this for Ireland, apart from that wicket, Lenny. Maybe serious nerves for the majority of this Irish squad. I've heard a lot about what Nepali cricket is all about, about the passion, the love for the game, the fans, the enthusiasm for the sport. And I'm speaking to every one of the players, every one of them just so excited to be here. We've made news all over, isn't it? The fans, the jam-packed stands, the grassy bank always full. Quick single this time. Sumpal Kami into his long run-up. Nearly chops on. Inside edge evades the sprawling dive of Asif Sheikh. And it's going to be a four, a very fortunate boundary for Stephen Don. He looks down at the inside edge. Sombal will not be very disheartened with that because this could have easily gone on to hit the stumps. Lucky boundary this. Fourteen for one, now the score. What's the score, Lenny, do you think the Irish side uh, would be looking at? It's actually a little surprised they batted first for a couple of reasons. W one, Nepal love chasing there, don't they? They, they adore trying to hunt big totals down. We've got those scores right now. Yes, yes, yes. The other reason I, I was surprised by them deciding to have a bat first, first game of the tour, all those nerves, you almost want to get out there together as, as 11 players and just get into the action didn't have a practice game there was no sort of warm-up game they just did two training sessions one on Saturday and one on Sunday the one on Saturday was a bridge by rain and then yesterday I think about half the squad decided to go celebrate holy and the other half decided to come and have a hit we did see the videos that went viral in fact the Irish players going around Kathmandu to celebrate holy it's a crazy festival here massive attempt of a pull beaten completely I heard from a couple of can volunteers that the Irish players while they're practice they were smacking sixes out of the park they had not seen that big six in this ground you know I think again it's hard for me to get across as someone who's got a, a foot in both camps if you will spend a lot of time here in Nepal obviously from Ireland myself just how different cricket is here compared to back home in Ireland we're used to a lot of rain we're used to grassy surfaces not different to early season England in the, the county championship when the ball nibbles about here there's barely any grass out on the square the ball will turn and that's going to angle down the leg side can be convinced none of his teammates are end of the second 15 for one Dish home fiber net. It's a happy, happy. Valley Cold Store, Manota Healthy Family. 200 plus live channels. We'll continue from the Chobat and got a wicket off the very second delivery of this first match of Ireland Wolves Tour of Nepal. The 15 for 1.
Well, that's a very pleasing drive, but Powdle reads it nicely, gets across quickly to his left. Sachin, I to leave you to get over to the UAE for that T20 tri-series that followed Cricket World Cup League 2. There was some really good stuff in there from Nepal, but ultimately, were they a little bit disappointed overall with that? the T20s that followed the Netherlands and Namibia? Absolutely. I mean, Nepal, in fact, were out of the tournament at, at one point of the series. They got back into that match against Namibia and won out of nowhere, thanks to that two wickets from the Pendersing ID that brought Nepal back into the series. But Nepal did expect Nepal to win. We did expect Nepal to win the finals as well because they defeated the Netherlands very comfortably in the previous match of that final. But and that has been the kind of uh, patch for Nepali team right now. We've g gotten into the finals but not been able to clinch trophies. The same story in Hong Kong here as well. Even in the T20 World Cup qualifiers, we're defeated by Oman in the finals. So there's been something with the finals. We're going to call that one a tie. The super over. We'll call that one a tie. That wasn't a defeat. Not by my reckoning. Well, they took the trophy, though. <laughs> they did, but it was a lovely moment, wasn't there? The two teams celebrating qualification. And that's going to be too high. And immediately, a very good call from Stephen Dohany. I think that's probably hit Carmichael in a, a nasty area. Maybe the inner thigh pad. Yeah, I, I think I, obviously I read a lot of the social media comments. The passion from the Nepali fans is always there, but I think sometimes the emotions can get carried away. It was a very understrength squad they sent to Hong Kong. Monty Desai clearly wanted to try and blood a few guys. Maybe the margin of defeat was a surprise against Papua New Guinea in that final, though. Absolutely. Apart from that, I mean, the quality of cricket has certainly improved. Nepal into that massive World Cup as well. They have a big opportunity of qualifying into the Asia Cup again for the second consecutive time. Monty Desai was very concerned about it. He wants consistency in wins and qualifications. Nice cutter from Karen Casey. Yeah, we heard him be quite vocal about that. He, he wants a bit of stability now. He wants probably, unless somebody does something amazing from that R, the Nepal team in the six games that will follow might be surprised if this isn't the 15 that go to Oman for the ACC Premier Cup somebody will have to do what Anil Shah did against Canada scored 50 in his comeback match the fastest 50 for Nepal then scored 100 as well I'm a little surprised why he's not in the playing 11 today because he's been in good form Anil Shah well you don't take on Kushal Bertel or Dependra Singari. Ireland will have to learn that. That's maybe the one message I got across to them. Keep your eyes on Nepal. They're a wonderful fielding unit. They look for a single initially. But Carmichael was sent back, and rightly so. As Lenny mentioned, that Kushal Bertel and Dependra Singari, these two fielders, you'd not want to risk taking quick singles. Slight fumble from Kushal Mala for the second time already this afternoon. Just going to check. I think that does get us to the end of the third over. 17 for one. Well, 17 for one. Dohini and Carmichael rebuilding this innings after that second ball shocker from Karan Kisi. Yeah, Rossi there 
first ball boundary he'll have been brimming with confidence and then a knock to back second delivery this is going to be the test for me for the Irish Wolves side here in Nepal how do they play the very fine Nepali spinners Lalit Rajbanshi is going to give us the first sign of tweak in this series balls the fourth over it won't just be the senior Nepal side you look at that Nepal A team that's been named plenty of spin options in that too we never go short of spinners, Lenny. And left arm off spinners, we had them in dozens. Lalit, the best of them. Oh, okay. It's attempted to sweep it. It's taken the leading edge. Falls in no man's land. Lucky this for Dohini. I think for Stephen Dohini, this is a massive tour. He Someone who would have long been identified probably five, six, seven years ago as potentially being an all format player for Ireland. And I think some Irish fans will, will think he's a little hard done by. Doesn't have the worst numbers in terms of his start to his ODI career. Just had a few technical fragilities outside the off stump. They were a little bit exposed, particularly at the very top level in the Cricket World Cup Super League. And then he found himself left out entirely. That's the importance of, of ATM cricket for Ireland. The Wolves, as they're known, give him a chance to show his worth and get back into the sec selectors' thoughts at the senior level. Yeah. Lovely shots. Good use of the crease from the young K. Carmichael. Well, I think many in Irish cricket have been purring about this young man. Talk about potentially a world-class protege, the likes of Lorcan Tucker and Harry Tector's footsteps he could follow in. That's a gorgeous stroke of the highest quality. Well, moves on to 11 of 9 now. Lalit conceding boundary off the fourth ball off his first over. Hasn't been in the best of forms, Lalit. What will be his response? I thought he bowled really nicely in, in the ODIs, the Cricket World Cup League 2 ODIs, even though they weren't the most successful for Nepal. But then just that ever-changing dynamic, there's a gulf in difference between T20I cricket and ODI cricket. And Rajbanshi needs to find a way to succeed in this shortest format. Nepal relies heavily on this youngster, Lalit Rajbangsi. Big appeal, pretty full, pretty straight, good enough. I don't think Dohani got outside the line, which is what he was attempting to do. It's skidded on, no turn and offer, and Rajbanshi strikes. There could not have been an easy decision for the umpire. That that was crashing middle and leg. Stephen Doheny trying to play that massive sweep over the midweek reason. Yes, the ball would have stuck the middle off, maybe. Not at all a, dec a difficult decision for the umpire. Second wicket has fallen for the Irish team. And that slow finger of Binay Kumar Jha raised, bringing celebration for Braz Bangsi and Nepal. So after four, 25 for two.
Change of ends for Sampal Kami. We just get a correction. That's actually Cade Carmichael who has trapped LBW. Graphics misleading me here. Apologies. In comes the new man at number four. He's at the, the non-strikers. And Young Morgan topping to the crease. Stephen Dohany still there. And we will just get those graphics updated in a moment. So Carmichael it is who made that long walk back. Wicket off the very first over for Ladit Rasbansi. It must do a world of good for his confidence. And meanwhile, Sompal changes his end. Ball from the TU gate end. And now he's turned towards the Chobar end. Thanks to the team for getting that updated. Two dots to start the fifth over. The problem for Ireland, losing early wickets here. Winning the toss, choosing a bat first. A few nerves about. It's a long way back from here, isn't it? They don't want to lose a third in the power play. Certainly. A bit of nerves as well. Andrew, how much does the reputation of Nepali fans and the Nepali culture affect the touring team? How much is that in the dressing room conversations and the think tank conversations? It's all they were talking about in the build-up. A couple of very charismatic guys in this touring party, like Sophia Nand, I think, will become a fan favourite, the all-rounder. Beats the outside edge, the likes of Ben White, a very talented young leg spinner. And Gareth Delaney hits as big a ball as well, anyone I've ever seen. These boundaries won't be big enough for him if he gets it out of the screws. So it was really all the talk. We've probably only got about maybe 2,000 fans in at the moment. It is holy. We're into the, the second day of the celebrations. Big day yesterday. So hopefully those crowds will increase throughout. Get those tickets, remember, on IME pay. But certainly, it's something, the stuff of dreams, really, for Irish cricketers to come out here to Nepal. Now some innovation. This is not where Dohany intended it. He's not going to mind, though. May well have gone all the way. He was looking to ramp it over his shoulder to the leg side. Instead, it catches the leading edge, and it goes all the way for six. A stylish six, this. As Lenny mentioned, the ball did not find the best timing of the bat. Not at all what he intended, actually. A leading edge, just over the rope, just outside the rope, in fact. And a six this for Ireland. They'll need plenty more. The ball was slowly getting the hold of the game. And this six has certainly broken the, sh broken the shackle. Lovely length this time. Fuller from Kami and Dahani can't beat him on the follow through. One thing I've been impressed about so far for Arne, they haven't been afraid to play their shots. I know Carmichael has obviously fallen to a big attempted slog sweep and Dahani didn't get that where he intended, but they've been sent out with a bit of freedom, it seems, by Ryan Eagleson, the head coach. They decided to bat first and you were surprised by it, Lenny, so... But they've come in, they're looking to play the shots, not bothered by those two wickets that fell early. But that's the way to go. You don't want to get yourself stuck. 31 for two now. Just a few more dots than they would have liked, I think, alongside those two wickets in this first power play. Seven runs come from Kami second. It's 32 for two. Well, it's no surprise at all. Lalit will be bowling the final over of the power play. Got a wicket in the first over of his. Got that big wicket of Kate Carmichael. Hasn't been any tangible or noticeable spin yet for Raj Banshi. He can get it to grip, of course he can. But at the moment, really just skidding on. Exactly. And I think Carmichael was looking for some kind of turn and maybe 
The ball just came in really too sharp. Didn't connect the ball at all. Stands back, cuts, finds the gap. Another boundary this for Stephen Doheny. Moves on to 19. Was not a very good delivery from Lalit as well. Had plenty of time to just rock back and find the fence, which he did it in style. Yeah, a few good signs here for Ireland. Certainly, it's hard to get across the scale of nerves they'll have had. They know how good Nepal are. But look at that. Good use of the depth of the crease. Finds the gap. Maybe slightly shorter, just a couple of meters shorter out to the offside. Gets more than enough of it to get four more. Bit of pressure on Rajabanchi. Now, a bit of a giveaway, but he gets away with it. And they'll get through for the single. Well, that was a slightly ugly looking hack from Dahani. Lucky to survive. If it was a pure slog, it was premeditated. A big heave towards the onside. And fortunately for Dohini, he's still there because the ball was in the air for some time. Plenty of power to come, isn't there, for Ireland? You, you think of the ball-striking quality of Neil Rock, who had an excellent Inter-Pro season last year, the captain of this Wolves team. Gareth Delaney, a brilliant T20 tour of the UAE when Ireland were playing Afghanistan. Very nearly got Ireland over the line in that second T20i. And Fionn Hand is very capable at number seven, too. They'd love them, I think, to bat in the second half of the innings, though, and, and start to find those big hits. Maximums are critical here at the TU. Absolutely, and we've seen plenty of sixes off the bat of Nepal and the touring teams in the previous series. Lofty Eaton got the fastest 100 ever in T20Is. Michael Levitt from Netherlands got a big 100 as well. Six overs gone, 37 for two. So Gulshan Jha will be bowling from the Chobar end and Gulshan didn't bowl much in the previous series against Canada. He bowled against Canada but he did not bowl much in that tri-series when Nepal battled it out with Namibia and Netherlands. It's a good choice in this kind of a track. He can generate bounce, loves bowling in that good length area. Easy single driven down the ground and joins me in the com box is Ayush Kotham. A very good afternoon, Ayush. A very good afternoon, Sachin. It's a decent start for both the side. Nepal getting that early two wickets of Ireland Wolves. They have a lot of hard hitter to join in. What's the ideal score, Sachin, do you think, in this wicket? Because the wicket is looking flat. Well, they decided to bat first. And they must have had an idea of the average score in that tri-series between Nepal, Namibia and Netherlands. I think they'd sure, surely be looking at a score of more than 180. That's something I'm really certain about. A beautiful delivery. Knocks the off stump. Gulshan Jha has completely bamboozled the batter. Morgan topping. He was left clueless by this Jaffa from Gulshan Jha. Well, a beautiful delivery. Look at that delivery. Look at the seam position. That was the previous ball, but a brilliant wicket. A much needed wicket for the Nepalese side. 
the willow went flying Sachin it's a piece in that ball Morgan topping not getting any score in the board So three wickets have fallen for the touring team. Why to follow up that wonderful delivery by Gulshan Jha. It was a dream delivery, really. Morgan Topping will go back to the dressing room and look at the replay of that dismissal for a long, long time because he had no idea about the delivery. And a wonderful wicket for Gulshan Jha. He needed that wicket, Gulshan? Well, absolutely. The first over and a brilliant delivery to get rid of Morgan Topping. The new man in is the skipper, Neil Rock. Now Ireland Wolves needs a partnership at the moment. They need to rebuild the inning. Thirty-nine for three. Power play overs have been bold, and we could each for Karan Kesi, Lalit Raj Bangsi, and Gulchanja has been a great find for Nepal. Gulchanja, a perfect all-rounder, equally capable with the ball and with the bat. Slow delivery again, not the best of lines and treated very well this by Neil Rock, the captain who has walked in. And these are gift runs for the Irish batters. They won't miss them. Gulshan Jha again struggling with his left-hander. Was drifting down the leg side, just help on its way. And a much needed boundary this for the Irish side. Well, absolutely. Left and right hand combination in the middle. Gulshan Jha a bit struggling against the left-handed Neil Rock. He's just trying to ball that delivery that he was balling to Morgan, topping around that fourth stump. Neil Rock has been part of the senior Ireland team as well. Much better this from Gulshan Jha. Struggles with line sometimes, Gulshan. He's not been very consistent with the ball. He has been a great find, as I mentioned. Was nowhere in the scene before three years or so. And brought in, and Coach Monty Desai has shown a lot of confidence in this young man. Well, absolutely. Gulchan Zha made his mark from the Mayor's Cup. He was balling pretty well. Nepal Police Club just gave him that opportunity. And after that, it's just history now. This time a slower delivery. That's the end of seventh over. Ireland Wolves 43 for three. Valley Cold Store, Manota Healthy Family.
So Doheny and Neil Rock, the captain for Ireland in this Ireland Wolves tour of Nepal. They'll need to build a partnership. Wonderful shot. This will be just over the top. Away from the fielder there is Sandeep Zora. Believed he was in the game for a moment. But the ball went just over his head. And second six this for the Irish side. He just went down on his knee. Followed the ball. Well, Dipendra Singhairi would not be happy with the first ball. This time just offered that room. He played with the spin. Doheny. They've read the ball is really well. He went with the spin and the ball cleared the boundary. Just but the result the same. Six runs for Ireland. It's not a great feeling considering a six of the very first ball of your over. Karan considered a boundary. But then got a wicket off the very next ball. Small battles in cricket. Well, small battles. And Rohit Kumar Pordil focusing on those matchups as well. There's a left handed Neil Rock coming in. Dipendra Singh Ivy just coming on. But this is all spin. Now, this is going to be an interesting move. Dipendra Singh Ivy balling to Neil Rock. They'll be definitely looking to get the wicket of the left handed batsman. Now the question is, will Neil Rock go against the turn against the Pender Singh Airi? Just chips it. Was a nothing shot really. Was a check shot. But fortunately for Neil Rock, the ball did not go to the fielder. The Pender Singh Airi is not a big turner of the ball. But he'll invite the left-handed Neil Rock to go against the turn towards the onside. Quicker one this time, a dodge delivery, 8 overs gone, 51 for 3. Catch it! Now you can catch the catch gun hose. Teshom Fibernet go catch the big offer. Pound hose 100 Mbps. Chama 7,500. 200 Mbps. 7,700. 300 Mbps. 9,900. Rasatma pound hose free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Topai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni surakshit rapi. We'll continue. We'll be bowling to Neil Rock. Comes down the track. Up in the air. Crowd jumping in joy because this is the fourth wicket for Nepal. And Neil Rock has been held out by Kushal Malla who took that easy catch. Well, that sort was not needed from the skipper at the moment. They were just rebuilding their innings. They just lost that wicket of Morgan Topping. Look at that, just coming down the track, trying to go over that offside. Not getting that connection. Ball just hitting the bottom part of the bat. Straight in the hands of Kushal Malla. Another wicket. Neil Rock, the captain, departs for just scoring five runs. RN Wolves. 51 for 4. Catch it! Now the top of catch gun hose. Teshom Fibernet go catch the big offer. Pound hose 100 Mbps. Chama 7,500. 200 Mbps. 7,700. 300 Mbps. 9,900. 9,700. Pound hose free 5G router. So Gary Delaney 
He's also represented Ireland in the senior side. And Gulshan will be very pleased because he's got his second wicket. Getting a little too aggressive. Gareth Delaney has come at the centre and Captain Neil Rock looking to attack Gulshan Jha right from the word go. Came down the track, could not get to the middle of the ball. In fact, the ball stuck the lower end of his bat. That's the reason he did not get that elevation or distance. Was a pretty easy catch for Kushal Malla. Short wide. Nearly carried to the fielder there. Karan Casey eventually pulled it back. Has he done it cleanly? Ampar will certainly have a word with him. Thank you, thank you. Offered that room to free his arms. Well, Karan just get a bit of casual work there by Karan Casey. You're just trying to balance himself. Sachin talking about this series. This series would be a perfect situation for Nepal because they are going to play in Vapi with the two Indian state teams and now playing against Ireland Wolves. They have got a very good side, Ireland Wolves. Moving on to the T20 World Cup, this, is, this series is definitely helping Nepal to find that stability in the team. Again, offering room. Could not time it well at all. Absolutely, Ayush and Coach Monty Desai mentioned the same thing before the match in a small interview that I had with him. He mentioned that Nepal is looking to consolidate the side and build that side for the Asia Cup qualifiers and the T20 World Cup in the United States and the Caribbean. They've had a mixed month. Nepal, they lost against the Netherlands in the finals of that tri-series. Again, outside the line of off stump, they again lost against Papua New Guinea in Hong Kong. It was a tri-series between Nepal, Hong Kong and Papua New Guinea. They won't be much worried though, Ayush, because they're playing against quality sides in India and playing that Asia Cup qualifiers in Oman. Well, absolutely, Sachin. Coach Monte Desai just looking to find that right combination before going on to the T20 World Cup. Strong team that Ireland Wolves have come here in Nepal. Out of the 15 players, 9 players have already represented the senior side of Ireland. This time a slower one, just play it with soft hands. A uh, bit of sloppy work there by Karan Casey. Should have been better. Should have been much better from uh, Karan Casey. It was edged. Went fine. The ball did have some spin. This was the previous delivery. Where the Irish batters took a single. A ball later. The ball went all the way to the boundary. Should have been better effort, as Ayush mentioned from Karan. Can they build a partnership? Can they build a partnership? That's the question. Doheen is still there. 33 of 28 has been a cautious innings from his side. Hasn't looked much troubled at all. Stephen Dohini. And that's the end of the ninth over. Four down for 58. Valley Cold Store, Manota Healthy Family. Catch it! Now you can also catch one horse. Teshom Fibernet Co. Catch the big offer. Pound horse, 100 Mbps. Chama 7,522. 200 Mbps. 7,788. 300 Mbps. 9,912. Rasatma Pound Horse. Free 5G router. Well then, 58 for 4. 9 overs have been bowled. Interestingly, Rohit Powdell has replaced the Pender Singh ID with his senior pro, Lalit. Senior because 
He has been the spearhead of bowling department. The best spinner that Nepal has had in the playing 11 today. Got a wicket in his first over as well. Conceded 12 runs. Was a little too expensive in the Tri-Series, Ayush. Lalit Rasbangsi just coming after that injury. Previously had that shoulder injury. After that, a finger injury. Now we could just see Sachin. We could probably see left-hand spinners coming in tandems from both the end because on the Ireland, if you look at the Irish side, they have just got two left-handed batsmen in their whole squad. Flicked. It was almost a Yorker by Lalit Rasbangsi. And this is a very strong Irish side, Ayush. Ireland Wolves, the Ireland A team. Nine out of their 15 players have played for the Ireland senior team. Neil Rock, Ross Adair, Gareth Delaney, Stephen Doheny. Few on hand was yet to come. He can strike big as well. Matthew Humphreys, James McCollum, PJ Moore, and Ben White. The nine players to have represented, represented the Irish senior side. Hasn't been that kind of start that the Irish team would have wanted. Neil Rock was very sure in his decision of batting first. But absolutely, they were not being able to capitalize. Once again, coming with that arm. It was a surprising decision from the skipper to bat first. Very popular Nepali actor, Dayang Rai. He's loved in Nepal and he loves cricket. He has generated cricket, uh, interest in cricket a little late. But ever since, he comes to the ground, supports the Nepali side and plays as well. So the final ball of the 10th over gets one runs for the Ireland Wolves. The score is 62 for 4 and drinks will be called. Tapai ko samrashna lai. Juni juni surakshit rapti. Cement sagar matha. Yogi sa. Catch one host, Teshom Fiber Netco, catch the big offer. Pound host, 100 Mbps, Samma Sadazar Panse Bice, 200 Mbps, Sadazar Satse Atasi, Ra 300 Mbps, No Hazar No Se Barama, Ra Satma Pound Host, free 5G router. It's a mother of Mutsapali, Sabajana Hunta Happy Happy Valley Cold Store, Monota Healthy Family. Catch one host, Teshom Fiber Net Co. Catch the big offer. Pound host, 100 Mbps. Samma Sadazar Panse Bice. 200 Mbps. Sadazar Satse Atasi. Ra 300 Mbps. No Hazar No Se Barama. Ra Satma Pound Host. Free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Naya Adhyaya. Naya Jimmywari, Naya Gantavyalai, Atma Sat Gardai, Atal Hai, Agi Bardai, Lakshatar Palamkani, Adig Athod, Yodaisa, Utsa Soch, Yodaisa, Ajaku Majboot Nirmandli, Pavisha Sunish Chitkarni, Sagar Mata, Yodaisa, Tapai Ki Samrashan Alai, Juni Juni Surak Chitrakti, Cement Sagar Mata, Catch one host, 
स्टेशन फाइबर नेट को कैच द बेग ऑफर पाउंड होस हंड्रेड एम पी जमा सात हजार पाँच सौ बाईस टू हंड्रेड एम पी सात हजार सात सौ अठासी री हंड्रेड एम पी एस नौ हजार नौ सौ बारह मा रात में पाउंड होस फ्री फाइव जी राउटर So we are halfway through the innings. Ten overs have been bowled, 62 for four. Not the start that Ireland would have wanted at all. They won the toss, selected to bat first. They've lost four important wickets, but for Nepal, they would not want to get complacent at any point of time because they understand that the Ireland Wolves still have big hitters to come. Dohini still there, 38 of 30. Kirth Jalani, the big hitter, four of six. It's just out there. Two wickets for Gulshan Jha, one each for Karan Kesi and Lalit Rajbangsi. Well, Ireland Wolves not be happy because you could just see they were getting that start, they were getting that partnership in middle. But they could not just capitalize the partnership that they were building on. Small partnership, small cameos at the moment, and this is what I was talking about. Such, and we could definitely see left arm orthodox coming in tandems from both the end. Because you have two right-handed batsmen in the crease. Dohini and Delaney now they need to build this partnership because they have got big hitter of the ball yet to follow. They need to create that foundation for just the middle order and lower middle order to just come and go for that big score because they have got very good hitters to come in. I agree, Ayush. And meanwhile, the Nepali bowlers would be pretty happy with themselves. They have not allowed the Ireland Wolves to get to a flyer. Instead, they picked up four wickets, got a wicket off the very second delivery that was Karan Kesi in his first over. And Kushal Malla gives the ball a lot of air, and that's the reason why the ball has gone up in there. And easiest of catches for the best fielder on the ground. That's the Pindar Singh idea. Who has taken one of the easiest catches he'll ever receive? Well, we are just talking about this. Two needs to create that foundation. Needs to build that partnership. It was. Look at the delivery. Kushal Malla just offering that room to Delaney, offering that flight. The ball was far away from the body. You were just trying to play that shot. A simple catch for Dipendra Singh Iyer. Garrett Delaney walks back. To the dressing room with just four runs. Well, Ireland rules 63 for five. Catch it! Abu Tapai Pani catch gun host. Station Fiber Net go catch the big offer. Pound hose 100 Mbps. Jamma 7,522. 200 Mbps. 7,788. Ra 300 Mbps. 9,912. Ma. Ra saat ma pound hose free 5G router. Valley Cold Store. Banao cha healthy family. Well, half the side of the Ireland Wolves team back in the hunt now. Few in hand has come at the centre. Doesn't move his feet much. Played towards the onside. Has taken a single. Not a bad idea to get give the strike to the well set Stephen Dovini. He's batting it. 39 now. He's taken 31 balls. By far the best batter so far today for the Ireland Wolves, and this was the dismissal. Easiest of catches, as I said, for Dipendra Singh. Idea was a nothing shot really, and that's how Kushal Malla actually deceives the batters, Ayush, because he deceives the batters with the pace. He gives the ball a lot of air. He's very slow through the air, and sometimes it's very difficult to time against him. Absolutely, Sachin. As a batsman, when you are trying to hit Kushal Malla, you need to keep put that effort while hitting to Kushal Malla. And this is what Sachin was talking about. He does not offer that pace. He just comes in, offer that flight, ball slowly. 
and as a batsman you would want to keep that effort to hit the ball hard and this has been the story for Kushal Malla such an such a handy all-rounder Kushal Malla we know his abilities with the bat is as well and gets the wicket when it's needed nearly got Nepal back into that match against the Netherlands and that's the scorecard so far the Irish team will not be very happy with it because apart from Stephen Doheny none of the batters managing to get to that double figure a sorry looking batting card you'll have to say so far but they still have more than nine overs to go can they post a total that will trouble Nepal so far they are in big big trouble well, and it would be interesting to see the death over from the Nepalese side as well. We have seen the team struggling in those death overs. Once again, ball coming with that angle. And Irish batsman needs to be careful because now they could just see Captain Rohit Kumar Podil would, would use his spinners as much as he can. was a very good delivery again fortunately for Fionn he got some bat only four runs and a wicket for Kushal Malla in his first over takes the score to 66 for 5 after 11 Catch it! Now the fight for the catch gun host Teshom Fibernet Co. Catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps. Chama 7,522. 200 Mbps, 7,788. Ra 300 Mbps, 9,912. Ma. Ra Satma Pound hose, free 5G router. Valley Cold Store. Banauta Healthy Family. So that's the bowling card, a wicket for Karan Kesi, Lalit has won, one for Malla as well and two wickets for Gulshan Jha, 66 for 5, the Nepali side would be very happy, Rohit Paudil, certainly happy with his bowling changes as well, Dipendra Singh ID was given one over then removed and another change in the bowling, Kushal Burtil with his leg spin is introduced for the first time. Easy single of the very first ball. Still, we have not seen Avinas Bohra coming into ball. I guess the captain would want him to ball in those death overs. But Kushal Burtel is enjoying his balling. That was really good delivery, Ayush. And it's great to see how Kushal has evolved as a bowler. He's learned the art a little late in his career. Known for his batting abilities, obviously. He also gets turned at occasion. Can he get one more for his team now? Well, the ball stayed low. It was a googly from Kushal Burtel. The ball stayed low. Fionn was just trying to hit the ball over the mid-wicket reason. Just changed his pace and deceived Fionn with that googly. Shows that he has put in a lot of work behind his balling. Oh, this was a fantastic delivery again. He was tasting the batter. Fionn inviting him on the front foot. And the ball, the ball did get some turn as well. The previous ball was a googly. This time was a conventional leg spinner. He's building his abilities. Kushal Burtil. The line again immaculate. Fionn in two minds. Whether to stay behind and push it through or to come on the front foot. Decides to stay at the back foot and punches it through for the single. And now Stephen Doheny, he has a massive responsibility on his shoulders to take his team forward from here and post something that's respectable. 
the 69 for five, mind you. With Oppard, slapped. But well done there in the G by Kushal. In fact, it's Gulshan who saved the boundary. And the score is 70 for five. Another tight over for Nepal. Naya Adhyaya. Naya Jimmiwari. Naya Gantavya Lai. Atma Zat Karnai. Atal Bhai Agi Bardai. Nakshat Atpalam Kani Adik Athol. Yaudai Tha. Utsa Soch Yaudai Tha. Aajako Majboot Nirmaan Le. भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगर माथा योग्य था तपाईं के समरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित रहे सिमेंट सगर माथा योग्य था सो नील रॉक डिसाइड टू बैट फर्स्ट आई एम शुर यू वुड नॉट बी प्लीज्ड विद इस साइड एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द 70 फॉर फाइव कुशल मल्ला पिक्ड अप विकेट इन इस वेरी फर्स्ट ओवर and Doheny is still there. That's the good news for the Irish side. Ireland Wolves. Still there. Cuts. And a couple of runs for Doheny. Moves on to 44 now. We're talking about the small partnership that Ireland Wolves were building. But I guess Sachin, it, it's the condition that has played a major role in this collapse. As a touring team, you'd always want to have a look at the condition and they are playing in absolutely different conditions. Taken on the full, in no mood to go big. Stephen Doheny, Kushal Malla, bowling that juicy full toss in expectation of Doheny to go against him big. Isn't the case though? And if you're on hand, he can take a couple of balls and just nudge around singles, give the strike back to Doheny, who's settled there. At least give partnership, build partnership with somebody. Because Doheny, apart from his innings of 45 or 36, none of the other Ardent Wolves batters have managed to get on to the double figures. This is what Fion needs to do at the moment. Just stay there in the crease, play that supporting role to Doheny. So it is time trying to come down the track. Fion needs to hold his nerves because Doheny is looking confident. He's playing those shots pretty well. The Irish side would definitely want Doheny to stay there in the crease till the last over. But one thing that they'd be looking is the supportive role. Again, good length. Got Doheny in two minds whether to come down or to stay behind. They've struggled today, the Irish batters. And that is bound to happen when you lose a wicket off the very second ball and they lost wickets in consistent intervals. Finds the gap for a single. Score now 13 gone, 74 for 5. Company catch gun hose, Teshom fiber net go catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps, Samma 7,522, 200 Mbps, 7,788, Ra 300 Mbps, 9,912. Ra Satma pound hose, free 5G router. It's a matter of who's a fanny. Sabajana who's a happy, happy. Valley cold store, one out healthy family. Well, Ireland will 75 for 5, not the start that they would have wanted, but Doheny is still there in the crease. This time, it was away from the board, he was trying to go. It's a field out there, the easiest of catches for Dipendra Singh Airi. Well, there's a change in the commentary box as well, I'd like to welcome Lenny, welcome back Lenny. Well, Dipendra Singh Airi, he's never dropping that, is he? Really a giveaway after such a good innings from Stephen Doheny. He played nicely, played with good control, and both Dohany and Delaney before him, done by a lack of pace through the air. They were trying to impart pace onto the ball. Dohany's gone for 46, and it's 75 for 6.
Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Tapai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni Surakshit Rakhi. Simen Sagar Matha Yogi Sa. Double Matcha Pack. Pound Horse Double Data. Validity na sagi nahi gare ko harik kharid ma. Matra ru ek se pachas de ki suru. Looks like it's going to be Tom Mays at number eight. I thought we might see Liam McCarthy. Mays, he's been in and around the senior Irish squad, but yet to be capped. Well, I'm not sure how he's played a shot at that. That could have been a double wide if he left it alone. Burtel's part-time leg breaks, they tend to take a lot of wickets, Ayush. Well, absolutely. Gusal Burtel standing in to be a leg spinner at the moment. is enjoying his balling from the Prime Minister's Cup. Well, that was the wicket, just lowered through the air. That was not a wicket-taking delivery, to be honest. Tohini just throwing his wicket. Just getting that turn, Kushal Burtel. Well, absolutely, Danny. He's enjoying his balling from the Prime Minister's Cup. He's taking that responsibility of leg spinner in the team when they're playing for Nepal Police Club as well. Not a star that Irish. Team would have wanted Lenny at this condition 76 for 6. Googly, not sure it was picked necessarily out of the hand by Fionn Hand. He's really, for me here, Ayush, he's probably the last major hope with the bat for Ireland. Liam McCarthy is, well, he's maybe a little more than just a lower order player, but Tom May's not renowned for his batting necessarily. Ireland have got themselves in a tangle. It was a prediction I gave you before the start of the game. It's against spin. Don't face high quality spin altogether too often. It's a real drag down and Bertel gets away with it. Well, do you think, Lenny, it's the conditions that has played a major role in this collapse as well? The wicket and the conditions here, the spinners hunting in tandems. I think there's been a few poor shots, being honest with you. A little bit of the occasion getting to Ireland. Nicely bowled again, slow through the air, gets us to the end of the 14th, it's a wicket taking over, 78 for 6. Catch it! Now you have to catch the horse, catch the fiber net, catch the big offer, pound horse, 100 mbps. Some are 7,522, 200 Mbps, 7,788, 300 Mbps, 9,912. Rasatma Pound Hose, free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Kushal Malla coming in from the Chova end. Kushal Malla, both the batsmen. Myers and Fian needs to hold their nerves out there. They need to play the full 20 over. They need partnership at the moment. A bit of lucky. Kushal Malla just using his angle. Bringing the ball back to the right-handed batsman. I came and watched Ireland train on, on Saturday. They were in a centre wicket practice. There is actually good spin options for Ireland. You keep your eyes on Ben White. and I know Gavin Hoey's not in the team today, but Gavin Hoey, a very talented young leg spinner. Pembroke and Leinster Lightning man. Ben White had an excellent series with the ball. And that's the most pleasing thing for me. There was a talk of a few thunderstorms, but lovely blue skies. The big difference for Ireland. They won't have faced much spin bowling at this pace I use. Look at how slow it is through the air. Nepal, they know their own conditions and they're exploiting them absolutely perfectly right now. I was trying to, for that angling ball, Kushal Malla just playing with the mind. The previous two deliveries. Getting that slight turn. Yeah, 
He hasn't been a huge amount of turning off from any just angle, but it's the pace that Mallow bowls at. He's very, very brave. Absolutely. If you are playing against Kushal Mullah as a batsman, you need to put that extra effort to hit the ball hard because he does not offer you any pace. Once again, it's a lower full toss there. Looking for two. Just be happy. Well, that's the end of 15th over. Ireland Wolves, 84 for 6. Naya Adhyaya. Naya Jinmewari. Naya Gantavyalai. Atma Saath Kardai. Atal Bhai Agi Bardai. Lakshatar Palam Kani Adik Athod. Yodai Tha. Utsa Soch Yodai Tha. Aajako Majboot Nirmand Le. भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगर माता योगी था तपाईं को समरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखी सिमेंट सगर माता योगी था कुशल बुटेल कंटिन्यूइंग विन फ्रॉम द टीयू एंड स्टिल नो साइन ऑफ अविनाश बोरा जस्ट यूजिंग हिज स्पिनर्स दिस टाइम गोइंग ओवर द कवर्स एंड स्ट्रेट इन द हैंड्स ऑफ दीपेंद्र सिंह आई री well, the ball is following him everywhere he goes. Another one beaten by the lack of pace. Got a pretty good piece of this actually, if you on hand. <laughs> Wasn't out of the middle necessarily, maybe a little bit towards the, the bottom left corner of the bat. That's where he's looking now, but just slow through the air. Hand having to impart the pace. Look at the way Dependra Singh Iri has read that and Akash Chand right next to him. One of the 12th men today running drinks. Nepal are on fire here. Hand the latest to go. It's 84 for 7. Catch it! I'm going to play for the catch gun host. Teshom Fibernet Co. Catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps. Chama 7,522. 200 Mbps, 7,788. Ra 300 Mbps, 9,912. Ra 7,000 pound hose, free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Well, Ireland in all sorts of trouble. Kushal Bertel, as he's often done over the last couple of months, his bowling coming more and more to the fore. I suggested maybe we might see some off breaks from Rod Powdle at some stage. I forgot to mention Kushal Bertel's leg breaks. As Liam McCarthy, the new man to the crease, comes in at number nine. Really, numbers eight through 11 in this Irish Wolves order, not renowned for their batting. As soon as Dohany fell, Ireland are looking at maybe being bowled all out inside their 20 overs now. Lack of peace doing that job for Nepal. Just, just play it softly. Fine leg field of Inasbora was inside the 30 yard circle. That boundary would certainly give that confidence to McCarthy. Yeah, really nicely played product of Railway Union Cricket Club, most famously producing the likes of the two O'Brien brothers. Kenny Carroll as well. Trent Johnson spent a good bit of his career there. We'll see him with the ball later. He's got a little bit of pace to him. Starts nicely with the battle though, has to adjust to the spin again. We're gonna try to take on the second to Dependra Singh Iri. They will get there. This is the challenge for Ireland against spin in completely alien conditions for them. The spinners have done their job so far. Look at Kushal Malla, Kushal Burtail, not offering the, any peace to the batsmen. But yeah, to be honest, we're talking about the Irish side have thrown their wicket. Not needed shots at the moment. We are just, uh, just trying to go after the spinners with the lack of pace and throwing their wicket. But this is a strong team. We're talking about a strong team that's touring Nepal. More innovation.
completion attempted by McCarthy and very effective. He's favoured the leg side and a nice flourish to start with from the number nine. I thought he'd be at number eight. Ten runs and the wicket from the over Ireland. Scrapping away. 94 for seven. Catch one host, Teshom Fibernet go catch the big offer. Pound host, 100 Mbps, Samma 7522, 200 Mbps, 7788, Ra 300 Mbps, 9912 Ma. Ra 7 pound host, free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Trial by spin continues for Ireland. Remarkably, just six overs of seam bowled thus far when Rohit Powell said to me at the toss, we've gone seam heavy today with Avanesh Bahara yet to be used. That's a, a big, big surprise. The death specialist, well, at best now, he could only bowl two overs. Absolutely. Nepal realizing that you could just haunt the side, either side with spinners. And we have seen the batsman struggling against that lack of pace with the spinners coming in. And, and yes, as Lenny was mentioning it, in alien condition, you win the toss and electing to bat first. A surprising decision. It's going to be a wide down the leg side. They won't run the extra on top of it. I'd go a little further than that. I think a massively surprising decision at the toss. Never played here before. No Irish team has. Just Kevin O'Brien and Paul Sterling were out here. Had a little bit of experience in one of the, the franchise competitions. That was back in 2018. Really nicely picked up man out there, though over his head. Sundeep Jura nestled underneath it. What a cameo from McCarthy. The 100 comes up. What's he doing at number nine, Ayush? Well, he's just coming in and playing his shots pretty well. McCarthy is looking confident. This was needed for the Irish team. Look at that shot. The previous delivery from Lalit Nair and Ras Bangsi. I think this is going to be... I thought it might have struck him outside the line, but Dergasu Betty says no, it was full. The umpire therefore has to believe it will continue upon the line that it's being delivered. Did it get him in line is the big question. Either way, the finger goes up and McCarthy's little cameo, it ends on 16. So McCarthy falls for 16 after seven deliveries, 102 for eight. Naya Adhyaya, Naya Jinmewari, Naya Gantavyalai, Atma Zat Karnai, Atal Bhai, Agi Bardai, Lakshatar Palamkani, Adig Athod, Yautai Tha, Utsa Soch, Yautai Tha, Aajaku Majboot Nirmand Le, Bhavishya Sunishchit Karne, Zagar Matha, Yautai Tha. तपाईं की समरचना लाई, जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखने, सिमेंट सगर माथा योगी सा। आयरलैंड हैव देम्सेल्स इन अ स्पॉट ऑफ बदर आफ्टर अ लिटिल फ्लोरिश फ्रॉम लियम मैकार्थी। यू कैन सी मैथ्यू हम्फ्रीज इन एट नंबर टेन, द लेफ्ट आर्म स्पिनर। प्लेड ऑल थ्री फॉर्मेट्स लास्ट ईयर फॉर द सीनियर साइड एट जस्ट द एज quite necessarily ready yet very raw still this is the dismissal of McCarthy get one more look at it I thought it might have hit him outside the line of leg stump well small came here from McCarthy coming to an end I guess that ball was just going down the leg side Lenny probably I'm not, I'm not sure about that one being honest, the umpiring generally on, on home soil here is excellent. You think of the likes of Buddy Pradhan, with all his experience, Durga Subedi getting better and better alongside Vinay Kumar Jha as well. But for me, I think McCarthy will feel a little unlucky. This one speared in the wide Yorker. Problem for Ireland, only two wickets left now. Well, 
Just targeting that block hole, Lalit Nair and Ras Bangsi. This time just coming with that angle. Just a single to end the over. It's 104 for 8. Here's the bowlers used thus far. The big surprise, no Avanesh Bahara. Obviously one of the hot topics on social media recently. He's found it a little bit tough to get it just right at the death. So good captaincy from Rohit Paidel. Maybe caring for one of his more senior bowlers nicely and giving him a nice opportunity just to bowl a couple of overs here. Could pick up the wickets of maybe numbers 8, 10 or 11. And just build that confidence back up. You need death bowling options. Pender Singh Ari is the other one I like seeing used at the death, despite the fact he's an off-spinner. He's got those change-ups that work nicely. And for Mays and Humphreys in Ireland, maybe just thinking, can they scrap up to 125? I can't see it being enough, Ayush. And there is the now secretary of the Cricket Association of Nepal in the centre of your shot, the former captain, iconic Paris Kadke. Well, that bowling has been a concern for the Nepali side. If you look at the series that Nepal played before this, that balling has been a concern. You look at the 50 overs format or the T20 format, the team would definitely be looking to improve their dead balling before moving on to the T20 World Cup. Well, our line Wolves will be definitely targeting to go over that 120 runs. I just want to ask you, Lenny, about the balling attack that the Irish Wolves side have. Nicely flicked away into the leg side and oh, Jura does well to keep that to a, a single rather than a boundary. Yeah, I actually really like the makeup of the Irish bowling attack, but again, you just talk about the conditions here, they'll be completely alien. Use that word quite a bit, I suspect, over the, particularly these first two days. Pace will be driven by the likes of Liam McCarthy and Tom Mays. If Fionn Han gets it through, he's got very good pace. You saw him make his test debut at Lords against England last summer. And then keep your eyes on the, the two leg spinners in the team today, Ben White and Gareth Delaney. There's the shorter ball. Humphreys doesn't quite know what to do with it. Yeah, that, that will probably be the five, the main five that will be used. Humphreys himself pulls left arm spin. He'll be the other spin option. But it's just so, so different to what some of the players in charge will have had experience of spinning conditions that's the likes of Neil Rock and Gareth Delaney, Ross Adair and Ben White but for the rest of the boys they'll have been at home in either Queen's University in Belfast or in the North County Cricket Club Indoor Centre in Dublin in North County Dublin and their winter time indoor facilities it's just so different it's hard to get across not grass and to go from that, even if you're bowling with good loads, I've no doubt Matthew Humphreys will have bowled a lot. He's one of the contracted players for Cricket Ireland. It's just so different to then come out here to, what, 24, 25 degrees? Big crowd in place, three or 4,000 people. And I just worry now about Ireland. They could get blitzed away in the second innings. If Kushal Bertel gets going, this could be over quickly. Well, absolutely, it would be interesting to see the pace attack of Ireland Wolves. As Lenny was just talking about, they've got a de good balling lineup, a mix of pacers and spinners coming in. Four runs from the over so far, just trying to create that room. Goes or Ariel and go clear that rope. Myers is looking confident. Now this is what they need at the moment. They need to target the remaining overs. Yeah, big hit down the ground. That's where you get good reward, good value here at the TU International Cricket Ground. It's where we see so many of Nepal's players hit firmly. Again, the margins are so tight, aren't they? 
for Bahara trying to hit the block hole, misses it by, well, what, about 9, 12 inches? And it's just pumped down the ground. Good, strong shot. He's a big man, Tom Mays. And Kushal Bertel, he thought he was in the game for a moment, but it goes soaring over his head. Troubles continue for Bahara. And he's finding it difficult to find that line and length. Avinas Bohra, we have seen him trying those short deliveries. He's got that good variations with Avinas Bohra. He could ball those off cutters, leg cutters pretty well. It looks like he's just got a bit of protection, maybe some taping to. Looks like the right elbow to me. Think about all the experience he has 26 years of age, but he's played over 50 T20Is. A career economy rate's excellent, 7.24. Really good for somebody who bowls at the death, but there was points of that tri series where he was just a little harshly treated, wasn't there? Netherlands and Namibia got after him. Ireland's specialist death bowler at the senior level is Mark Adair, Ross's brother, Ross part of this Wolves team and he's always described it very well you're the hero one day, you're the villain the next it can be a difficult thing to do bowling at the death that time he gets it just right, nails that block hole to close out a 10 run opening over for him, the Wolves are 1-1-4 for 8 Sampal Kami to bowl the penultimate over of this first innings. It's the Dish Home Fibernet Ireland Wolves tour of Nepal. And what a historic occasion. I'm not going to lie, Ayush, I was barely able to sleep last night with the excitement. That wasn't just holy, I wasn't getting smashed with all those colours on my famous Taklu Dai bald head. Well, it's the Irish team touring Nepal for the first time. And Lenny, like, how are you feeling? Because you have been here in Nepal, you have been following Associates Create, you have been a, this is your second home, the Ireland team coming in to play in Nepal. It's just so special, it really is. And, and look, being honest with you, I, I dream of the day when the, the senior side come here. You know, talking to the likes of Paul Sterling and, and Andy Balberni and, and the senior players from an Irish perspective. Sterling was here back in 2018. He still names Kathmandu as one of the favourite places he's toured in the entire world. And he's basically played every league, including the Caribbean, South Africa, New Zealand, everywhere. He's been all around the world. And he still thinks fondly of Kathmandu. It's a special place. And that one's pumped straight down the ground. I think it might have taken a deflection. It'll be a single. But yeah, I think the day will come. I think we'll see more and more full member nations come. But in terms of preparation for Nepal, building into the ACC Premier, and maybe to find a bolter, who knows, someone from that Nepal A-side could just do something. Can a Bashir Ahmed or a Binad Bandari stick their hand up across those six games and say, you've got to take me to Oman and you've got to get me on the plane to the USA and the Caribbean. was in the air, they're just trying to play that hard stroke against Sompal Kami. Well, absolutely, this would be a perfect situation for Nepal A side as well. To play against the strong Ireland Wolves side we've been mentioning. So far there are nine players who have represented the senior side. And then that's the other side of it, Ayush, for particularly the likes of Ross Adair and Neil Rock probably include Stephen Dohany in this, who wasn't in any of the touring parties in the UAE recently. It's a massive opportunity for them to put their hands up. Okay, Adair out for a second ball four today. Can he get two or three hundred runs across the series and say, I want to push Andrew Balberni and Paul Sterling at the top of the order. Didn't play any of the three T20Is against Afghanistan. Stephen Dohany, many Irish fans will think maybe a little unlucky. He batted seven times in ODI cricket, made 184. That was against Zimbabwe down in Harare. 
generally looked pretty good, I thought, across his senior starts. So there is so much to play for. And I'm not too sure Sam Falcami is going to want to see the replay of this. He may be smiling for now. That's an overthrow given away. Well, absolutely. He just hit the stumps and he was looking for the runner. Smile in his face. He just <laughs> taking that one run. Well, but the Irish side would not be happy with the score because they, are, they would be just looking around that 125 from now on. You could just see in that replay. Just got that ball in his hand. He just targeted that stump. <laughs> and then he was looking for the runner. But a good presence of mind there. He didn't just hit the stumps, did he? He demolished them. You're only three yards away, Sampal. Look at Durga. Durga saying, please, Sampal, don't hit me. <laughs> End result is a single. Not the most conventional one, though. Good death over this from Cam. He should be a couple, you'd imagine. Oh, mix-up. Big mix-up. Going to be a run out here. Gone. Excellent from Rowan Powell and great match awareness from Sampal Kami to throw it down to Asif Sheikh. A calamitous run out for Ireland. That was just a lower, lower full toss for Kumar Powell. Just running in, gathering the ball, giving it to Sompal Kami. Look at Sompal Kami. Just a good presence of mind there. And a wicket. Amphias is out. Small Kimi was going on. It's 117 for 9. Ben White in at number 11. He'll be at the non striker's end. So we're going to get those graphics corrected because it's Tom Mays that is still in there. Tom Mays is there because Humphreys was the one who was run out. They did get one run, but in looking for the second, they were run out. So Mays is still there. Carnage all over the place. Even Crick Info is that wrong. Oh, well, actually, we'll correct that. It is Humphreys. We will correct that. Crick Info is it right, so we've got it right as well. Humphreys is there on four. All the more remarkable that it was Mays that was run out. Surely he should have kept the strike. New Yorker hit down the ground. And we'll get the score correct. It is now 1-1-9 one, one, for nine. Avinas Bohra just bowling his second over. We're talking about Avinas Bohra not being used in the middle overs, just bringing him at the death. But a brilliant from the spinners today. They have been all over the Irish batsmen, not offering that peace. Yeah, seven wickets they've shared. Raj Banshi. Five wickets they've shared. Raj Banshi, Mala, and Bertel taking five between them. They get a leg by here. And then three have gone to the seamers, two for. Gulshan Jha, one for Karen KC, and then that run out to go with it. Yeah, I think this is well short apart. It probably needed something in the 160 realm to challenge. You've seen 180 actually be more regularly scored here. And the wicket looks flat as well, Lenny. If you're there in the toss, we could just see a patch of green when, you, when the seamer would be balling from the Chova and Just going for that Yorker of Inasbora. Can't quite understand Humphreys trying to run that second when it would have been Mays on strike. That's why we, we've, we've been confused there. Mays had just pumped a big six off Avanesh Bahara in his first over down the ground. He was on 16 off 13 balls. I think he was completely surprised by Humphreys calling him back for a second. Nicely bowled, slower ball. 
into the wicket. Ben White, a fine leg spinner, not particularly noted for his batting. And the first bounce for the over. This was a slower bouncer, but absolutely, we're talking about the batting of Ireland Wolves. They're bringing that slow, some bit of partnership, but they're not just converted. The last ball of the innings. Yorker to finish off and a wicket. Direct throw from Asif Sheikh. Yeah, it's going to be a second run out in two overs and a little bit of a tame end to this innings. Well bowled Avanesh Pohara. Can't blame Humphreys for trying to run through for the single but dead eyed. Catch gun hose, Tesh Home Fiber Net Co. Catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps, Samma 7,522, 200 Mbps, 7,788, 300 Mbps, 9,912. Yes, yeah, so there it is. 121 all out. Job done, really, for Monty Desai's men. Very impressive, particularly in the field, I felt, and the spin bowlers. Very, very impressive indeed. Let's take a look at the batting card. 46 for Stephen Dohany before slightly limp end to his innings as he found Dependra Singh Ari down at long off. And then plenty of contributions. Three other batters getting to double figures, but Fionn Hand, Tom Mays and Liam McCarthy all flattered to deceive a little bit. And disappointment for Cade Carmichael, Ross Adair and Morgan Topping at the top two. Here's the bowling figures. Just the two overs. Maybe that one surprise for Avanesh Bahara. You can't quite see there at the bottom of the screen. Two overs, none for 12 for him. But lots of wickets shared around. Five to the spinners. And then three to the seamers alongside those two runouts that have left Ireland Wolves with 121 all out. Get one more look at that final wicket to fall. It was indeed Matthew Humphreys who sprinted through, nailed the block hole this time, Bahara. And look at Asif Sheikh, brilliance from him. He knew it's the last ball, he knew the bye is likely to be run, so he's got the right hand keeping glove in his back pocket. Takes it cleanly, throws down the stumps, and an extra run saved. Nepal, excellent. Ireland just finding their feet in these conditions. It means that Nepal will need 122 to win. It's going to be Kushal Bertel and Asif Sheikh to open it up. In about 10 minutes' time. Don't go near it too far. We'll have all the action from the second innings very shortly. Naya Adhyaya. Naya Jimmywari. Naya Gantavyalai. Atma Sakkarnai. Atal Bhai Agi Bardai. Lakshatar Palamkani. Adig Atho. Yodaisa. Utsa Soch. Yodaisa. Ajaku Majbule. Havisha Sunishit Karni. Sagar Mata. Yodaisa. Tapai Prashnalai, Juni Juni Surakshit Rakhi, Cement Sagar Mata, Yogi. It's a Mutabu Mutabali, Savajana Hunter Happy, Happy, Valley Cold Stone, Monota Healthy Family. तपाईं को समरचना लाई, जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखे, सिमेंट सगर माथा योगेशा। डबल मर्क, पाउंड होस डबल डाटा, वैलिडिटी नसकी नई गरे को हरे खरीद मा, मात्र रु एक से पचास देख सुरु। वैली एक्सप्रेस, वाव, फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ, फ्राइड चिकन एवरी फ्राइडे, वैली एक्सप्रेस, क्रंच योर हंगर। Catch it! Now you can catch the catch gun host 
स्टेशन फाइबर नेट को कैच द बेग ऑफर पाउंड होस हंड्रेड एम पी जमा सात हजार पाँच सौ बाईस टू हंड्रेड एम पी पी एस सात हजार सात सौ अठासी री हंड्रेड एम पी पी एस नौ हजार नौ सौ बारह मत में पाउंड होस फ्री फाइव जी राउटर चार दशक देखे अनमोल संबंध लतन करने वाली कोल स्टोर बना हेल्दी फैमिली नया अध्याय नया जिम्मेवारी नया गंतव्य आत्मसात करते पंचतत्व राखी साक्षी आपने बाटो आप अटल भई अगि बढ़ते अज बृहत अज परिष्कृत अज अग्रगामी भई लक्ष्यतर्फ लमकने अडी कठोर एवट हर अवरोध चुनौती दिने उच्च सोच एवट आज को मजबूत निर्माण से भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगरमा एवट तरचना जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखने सीमेंट सगरमाथा एवट अब तैच कर टेसोम फाइबर नेट को कैच द बेग ऑफर पाउन होस हंड्रेड एम पीपीएस जमा सात हजार पांच सौ बाईस टू हंड्रेड एम पीपीएस सात हजार सात सौ अठासी री हंड्रेड एम पीपीएस नौ हजार नौ सौ बाहर मत में पाउन होस फ्री फाइव जी राउटर तरचना जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Naya adhyaya, naya jimmewari, naya gantavyalai. Atma saath kar dai. Atal bhai, agi baad dai. Laksha tar palam kani, adik atho, yau dai tha. Utsa soch, yau dai tha. Aaj ko majboot nirman le, bhavish sunishchit karne, zagar maatha yau dai tha. तपाई को संरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखे सीमेंट सगर माथा योग्य सा इस अच्छा बहुत सफाली सब जाना हो जहाँ पी हैप्पी वैली कोलिस्टर बनाऊँ जहाँ हेल्दी फैमिली तपाई को संरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखे सीमेंट सगर माथा डबल मत जापैक पाउन होस डबल डाटा वैलिडिटी न सकी नहीं गरे को हर एक खरीद मा मात्रा रू एक से पचास तक ही सुरु वैली एक्सप्रेस वाव फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ फ्राइड चिकन एवरी फ्राइडे वैली एक्सप्रेस क्रंच योर हंगर कैच कर टेसोम फाइबर नेट को कैच द बेग ऑफर पाउन होस हंड्रेड एम पीपीएस जमा सात हजार पांच सौ बाईस टू हंड्रेड एम पीपीएस सात हजार सात सौ अठासी री हंड्रेड एम पीपीएस नौ हजार नौ सौ बाहर मत में पाउन होस फ्री फाइव जी राउटर चार दशक देखे अनमोल संबंध लतन करने वाली कोल स्टोर बना हेल्दी फैमिली 
नया अध्याय नया जिम्मेवारी नया गंतव्य लाए आत्मसात कर दे पंचतत्व लाई राखी साक्षी आपने बाटो आप पहले आओ दे अटल भाई अगी बढ़ दे अजबरीहत अजबरिस्कर अजा अग्रगामी भाई लक्ष्यतर पलम कने अधिक अठोट ये उठे था हर अवरोध हर लाई चुनौती दे उत्स सोच ये उठे था आज को मजबूत निर्माण दे भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगर माता है ये उठे था तपाईं को समरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित रखने सिमेंट सगर माता ये Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Hey, Tancha Gama. You sungur ko lidi gana hunda hi na bane. Bajila boy, si ko gobar gana hunda ho? Ye bol se limbu ne. Ka boy si ka sungur? Sungur khol ma, boy si goat ma. Ka unura baje? So here we are, the first day of this Dish Home Fibernet Ireland Wolves tour of Nepal and Ireland a little surprisingly choosing to bat first and it hasn't gone their way. They've been rolled out predominantly by Nepal spinners in that first innings for just 121. Stephen Dohany's 46 opening the batting off 39 balls including six boundaries, the standard innings. But we think it's a long way short of par on what looks a good batting surface. Could be a chastening start to this tour for the Irish Wolves of Kushal Bertel and Asif Sheikh get going. The regular opening partner partnership across both white ball formats is all set to go. And I suspect they're going to be more than a touch ruthless. Andrew Leonard here alongside Sachin Timolcina on the first day of this. Well, that's a marvellous occasion, isn't it, having an Irish team here? Sachin, you think Bertel and Sheikh could get this done quite quickly or are Ireland going to find some early wickets? They'll certainly be looking to be aggressive and I'm sure with the way both of these play. In fact, Kushal Burtel likes smacking everything right from the word go. Asif Sheikh likes taking his time at the center. And if these two get going, you never know Lenny. We might be looking for an early end to this opening match. First ball, a wide delivery to start with. Yeah, Fionn Handed is opening the bowling for Ireland. He'll certainly be wanting to use this tour as a, as a launching pad back into the senior side selection. We saw him play that test match in Lourdes last year. Has played quite a few T20 internationals, most famously at the T20 World Cup. Getting the big wicket of Ben Stokes with a beauty at the MCG as Ireland beat England famously in 22. Pace on the ball. Can travel here at this ground and... The occasion proving a bit much for Ireland. It should have been a single, but a misfield from Cade Carmichael. Let's through the first boundary from the first legal delivery. They'll have to be careful here. They're only defending 121. As Lenny mentioned, that this has been a nervous start for the Ireland Wolves. Should have only been a single. Has given away three extra runs. You mentioned Ireland defeating England. This has happened before as well, Lenny. 2011 World Cup where Kevin O'Brien played that magical innings and got England through, uh, got Ireland through. England were defeated out of nowhere and they were shocked. In fact, that was, I think, one of the greatest associate performances in uh, the ICC events. 
Yeah, certainly right up there, wasn't it? Famous day, March 2nd in Bangalore. There's the misfield from Carmichael. Oh dear. Won't have played in front of crowds like this before. Fionn Hand will have, but some of his teammates, particularly the 21 year old Carmichael down there, it's almost more of a backward point, isn't he? Deep backward point as opposed to a, a deep third. Probably have three, three and a half thousand in. And remember, action again tomorrow. Hopefully, an even bigger crowd there. 1 p.m. start. Get those tickets in advance on IME Pay. That economy rate there, 16.67. Only three deliveries bold. Brilliant delivery. That had a hint of swing as well. Went away from the batter. Asif Sheikh. 4-4 four, four for him. It's in fact Kushal Burtil. Four runs to his name. A quick single taken. This pair is so very dangerous. It's not just the boundary striking from this pair. They run in between the wickets really quick. Kushal Burte likes being aggressive right from the word go. Some issue with the graphics. It's Kushal Burte who scored runs and Asif Sheikh will face his first delivery now. I think Fionn Hand, maybe alongside Rossa there, could prove to be a bit of a fan favourite. The Nepali fans tend to take players in under their wings, don't they? You think of the likes of of Aki Bilyas, of Oman, they loved Jan Nicol Lofty Eaton's amazing knock. Fionan, very charismatic chap. And starts pretty well despite that misfield. Six runs come from his first over, it's six for none. Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Hey, Tancha Kama. You sungur ko lidi ganam dayne bane. Bajila boysi ko gobar ganam tho. Kya bolse limune? Ka boysi ka sungur? Sungur khol ma boysi goat ma. Ka unura baje? Liam McCarthy to open the bowling alongside Fionn Hand. Railway Union Cricket Club all-rounder. It's four domestic sides, the, the first class or the, the list A set up in Ireland and McCarthy yes. has made his name for the Munster Reds. Quite a few of the players based in Leinster. Leinster tends to be, well, historically certainly the strongest province. So they have to go in search of other areas for opportunities. So he's made the move down to Cork, down to Munster. Had a really good domestic season last year. Thought he batted nicely too. Was probably a bit unlucky to be given out LBW. Absolutely won a few batters from the Irish side to get to that double figure. Only four of them managed to get beyond that score of 10. It was a problem for the uh, Ireland Wolves. Could only manage 121. They'll have to pick up quick wickets here. He yoked him up. McCarthy bowling to Asif Sheikh. You think of the kind of hi the historic success of, of Ireland's bowling attacks, it's mainly been based around their seamers, and that's with, with due respect to the great seamers, spinners that Ireland have had in years gone by, the Kyle McCallans, the, the Regan Wests, the George Dockrells. Certainly not including myself in that category, Sachin, even though you're trying to, trying to goad it out of me. <laughs> and it was the seamers that really drove Ireland to that first test victory. Barry McCarthy, Craig Young, Mark Adair, player of the match, outstanding. So it's interesting to see they've gone quite seam heavy here, despite the fact they have three spinners as well. Thought we could see Matthew Humphreys opening the bowling. They've always been rich with pieces, isn't it, Andrew? With good height, they come in steaming in. And Nepal slowly building that capability of facing good pieces. We struggled against bouncers. We've gone much better now, the Nepali side. Played on the up. Very good shot. This time the fielder cuts it off. Will only be two runs. I think that's Ben White down there. Again, it's that position that's become a little bit more in vogue in the modern T20 game. 
You don't go with the deep third. Third tends to be up in the circle. So you can see it here. It's, it's almost a very backward deep point. And I think it is Ben White. He does really, really well. It is Ben White who saved that boundary, only two runs. And a comfortable start this for Nepal. They're getting some runs as well. Oh, that jumped out of nowhere. He bent his back and got that bounce. Kushal Burtel was not comfortable at all. Yeah, good bounce, isn't there? Back of a length. And Bertel does well, really, to avoid it. Best case result there would have been maybe an outside edge past the keeper. The gloves for Ireland. We see Stephen Doheny again has that multifaceted approach to his game. Opening batter, keeper as well. As this is slashed away again out towards White, who again does brilliantly well. Could have been a couple of boundaries in the over. Instead, two good, good bits of fielding. I've saved at least a couple of runs. 12 for none. Company catch gun hose, Teshom fiber net go catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps, Samma 7,522, 200 Mbps, 7,788, Ra 300 Mbps, 9,912. Ra 7 pound hose, free 5G router. Twelve for Nasif Sheikh, taking his time at the centre, Kushal. Also looking watchful today. He's not playing that paddle sweep, at least <laughs> up front. He loves playing that shot. Has been dismissed attempting that shot quite a number of times, Andrew. Yeah, certainly it's a shot you think of Bim Sharkey playing quite a lot as well in, in the ODI stuff. Hero or villain stroke, isn't it? And that's much more like it. Stand and deliver. Inside out, over, extra, and all the way for six. What a strike from Asif Sheikh. Might be a little shorter that side, but smashed out of the ground. The first maximum of the chase. This is actually shocked, Fionn. It's a very good shot inside out. The timing was perfect. And he knew that the ball would go all the way right from the word go. For six for the Nepali side. And tries to repeat the dose. So oh, this is glorious. It's going to be a couple of bounces and into the rope, but a lovely one-two salvo come, from Asif Sheikh. Over cover for six and straight down the ground for four. This pair does not know how to give a slow start. They like getting aggressive. This was pitched up and timed it so very well. He didn't look to overhit it. Made sure that the ball would go past the field in the, in the circle, over the field in the circle. And a boundary to follow the massive hit. And now a clip shot, a nice pick up into the leg side, it's going to be four more. I did worry about pace on the ball for the Irish Wolves against the quality of Sheik and Bertel, the home fans, they're loving it. Loves playing this shot, Asif Sheik, picked off his pads, I think that was picked from the line of off stump. And he has timed it to perfection. Three bound boundaries in a row, three consecutive boundaries. And as we said, the Nepali openers, they want to finish this in a hurry. And now Neil Rock, the captain, comes over to Fionn Hand. Fionn had a wonderful preparation for this tour. Wasn't involved in the squads in the UAE, but did get an agreement with... Oh, we've got a, we've got a commentary camera. There we are. Maybe come up and say hello after this ball. Don't want to see my armpit, I don't think. He was down with the Mumbai Indians in Mumbai training. And that has so nearly bowled him. Just holds its line this time. So come on up and say hello on commentary camp. We'll say a big warm hello up here. No, we won't. We'll have a look at this. He tried to go across the line, Nasif Sheikh, this time. The ball missed the stump by a whisker. 
getting a little too fancy and Andrew, mind you, that it's still Holi from where Asif Sheikh belongs. Nepal has two days of Holi, one in the north and one in the south and it's Holi today in the southern part of the country. Pulls it for a single and end off an expensive over for the Ireland Wolves, 27 for none after three. Nepal taking on Ireland Wolves and production of spin for the first time. It's Garat Delaney who will bowl against Asif Sheikh who is looking to celebrate Holi today as well. Yeah, the Terai region, isn't it? Down the southern belt, not just south of Nepal, but also the north of India. Come on, G! So a very happy holy to everyone who celebrated yesterday, but there particularly is, today. A bit of spin. Come on. Down in Bairawa, Nepal Gunj, all of the southern belt. There's plenty of cricket down there too, isn't there? And Delaney will have his work cut out against these two now. Oh. Starts nicely. I think it might have been a googly. If not, it's just skidded on. And shaked as well to get the bat down in time. Awesome guys, great start Paul! He was expecting a leg spinner. Asif Sheikh and deceived Asif completely. Great start, Delaney this up. time. It was a top spinner almost, it came back to Asif Sheikh. Almost straightened. Skated as well and this was a nothing delivery. Oh, you can't bowl there. Welcome runs by Nepal, they'll take any runs. Off the bat, off the extras. It's a baptism of fire, this, for the Irish Wolves. They're playing against a side that is excellent in these conditions and has had the most brilliant 15 months or so or 14 months under Monty Desai. And that's not good enough from Gareth Delaney. It's a poor delivery, it's down the leg side. Stephen Doheny can't get a glove on it. And the last thing you need is five wides. Those fans in the crowd, they're loving every second of this. How often have we described the crowd here in Nepal, the fanaticism always in the high. They love their cricket. For a moment you think that this is only the Ireland A side, but mind you, this is a very strong team. Nine out of the 15 players in the squad have already represented the Ireland senior side. So the crowd getting excited will, will have increased number of spectators in the matches to follow. Exciting times for Nepali cricket. This is pretty full, pretty straight and good enough. How Ireland needed that. Durga Subedi had no hesitation in getting the finger up. Sheikh looked to sweep. It was maybe another one that just skidded on. And he thinks it's adjacent enough. Sheikh is gone. Lost his concentration for a while. I said, Sheikh missed this ball completely and an easy decision. The ball would have crashed on to the middle stump. He did not hesitate at all. And the score after this, this massive wicket, the big dismissal of Asif Sheikh is now 32 for 1. Double Majja Pack. Pound Horse Double Data. Validity na sa kinai gareko harik harik ma. Matra ru ek se pachas de kisuru. Bali Kolishto. Nepal को एक अग्रगामी कुखुरा को मासु प्रसोधन केंद्र तपाईले भने को जस्तो तयारी र मीट प्री कुक्ड र फ्रोजन चिकन आइटमहरू फ्रेश हाइजेनिक र बेस्ट क्वालिटीमा पाउन सक्नुहुनेछ चार दशक देखि को अनमोल सम्बन्धलाई जतन गर्दै भ्याली कोल स्टोर बनाउँछ हेल्दी फ्यामिली टाइटल द नेशनल टीम क्याप्टन टु द क्रीस एट नम्बर 3 वेल आयरल्यान्ड वी आर इन रियल ट्रबल अफ थिंग्स गेटिंग क्वाइट अग्ली देयर turning against them in a big way and they do love Rohit Powell at this ground he'll come in at number three just try to probably start quite slowly I'd imagine and allow Kushal Bertel to score quickly come on Garrett spin it past the outside edge boy oh. boy yes G 
Definitely spin to win here at this ground, isn't it? And Neil Rock had to turn to Delaney as early here as the fourth over. Yes, guys, yes, guys. It's good thinking as well from the artist captain, Neil Rock. He realized that the Nepali batters were playing medium pieces quite easily. Massive appeal and another wicket falls down. This time off the big fish, Rohit Powdell, the skipper, has been dismissed off the second delivery that is faced. Ireland will certainly now back into this game. Well, one brings two. They needed the first one, and I won't lie, they needed this second one too. It's the extra bounce from Delaney. It's just skidded on and a really good catch. It's an excellent piece of glove work from Stephen Doheny. Neil Rock is the other option with the gloves, but the captain is choosing to give them over to his former Rush Cricket Club teammate. Ireland of two in the over. Delaney's got both of them, and Road Powdle has gone for a second ball duck. It's 32 for two. Catch gun hose, Teshom Fiber Net Co. Catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps, Samma 7,522, 200 Mbps, 7,788, Ra 300 Mbps, 9,912. Ra Satma Pound Hose, free 5G router. So Ireland have a window. Not ahead of the game by any stretch. It's only 122 they're defending. But Gareth Delaney, who's got all that senior experience, he's very much playing really as a leg spinner for the national team who, who bats at 7 and 8 and hits it down the order. Brought into the attack after a horror show, five wides. Gets two wickets and three balls. Gulshan Jan at number four. This order has been a bit of a movable feast for Nepal in recent times. Love from Sudur Pashim, that's the far west province. He's produced plenty of cricketers, including Dipendra Singh Aidi, Binod Bandari. Cricket is really big in that part of the country. Oh, yes. I agree, Andrew. Uh, we'll come back to the conversation about Nepali middle order. On, 32 for two. A successful over of Delaney comes to an end. Naya Adhyaya. Naya Jimmiwari. Naya Gantavyalai. Atma Sat Gardai. Adalai. Agi Bardai. Nakshatar Palam Kani. Adig Athod. Yote Sa. उच्च सोच योद्धा था। आज को मजबूत निर्माण ले, भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगर माता योद्धा था। तपाईं को समरचनालय, जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखे, सिमेंट सगर माता योद्धा था। Well, there now some rebuilding needed for the Nepali side. Left hand, right hand combination in play. Gulshanja will be accompanying Kushal Burtil. Who was the silent partner in that opening partnership? Usually he is the one who is the aggressor. Ireland learning quickly here. Spin to win at the TU International Cricket Ground. So it's going to be Ben White to bowl leg breaks in tandem with Gareth Delaney. Oh my word. A bit of bounce again. Both of these spinners, particularly Ben White, he's much taller than he looks. Probably about six foot three, six foot four, the son of a former New Zealand. All black, a rugby player, came over to Ireland in the late 1980s, met Ben's mother in Dublin, and produced a wonderful cricketer in Ben White. Thought he was excellent in the UAE, maybe the pick of Ireland's attack actually across those, those three T20Is, a player of the match, four for 20, career best figures against Afghanistan in that win in the first game. And because of his height, he's sure to get some extra bounce off the track. And if that happens, it'll be bigger trouble for the Nepali batters. But they'll have to rethink about their approach. They only need 89 runs. The runs not an issue at all for the Nepali batters. They'll need to build a partnership here. Danny White, come on, pal. That's a googly. I see lots of googlies from White to the left-handers. He pulled an absolute perler over the wicket, getting it to pitch it just outside the leg stump, hitting the top of off. Fine young bowler, Ben White. This middle order, though, continues to, I guess, almost offer too many options for Nepal. Just slashes this one away over the offside. 
will get four promoted up the order. No Kushal Mala yet. And it's the left handed Ja who gets his first boundary. Very capable with the bat, Gulshan Ja. A perfect all rounder that Nepal has had. His bold today as well. And this is, I think, the right approach because against Netherlands and Namibia, Kushal was looking to, uh, Gulshan was looking to hammer everything towards the onside. And he's pretty capable towards the offside as well. This allows him to play with the turn or against the turn. Gives him more options. And I think this approach is the correct one. Another googly. And chip to point. Who takes the simplest of catches. Cade Carmichael holds on. Ireland's leg spinners of Nepal in a tangle. And they found three wickets inside the first five overs. Game on here. Absolutely, Lenny. Gulsanja, a little too casual here. He did not try to go over the top as well. The power was certainly not there. The fielder plays at that position for the same reason. And an easy catch. Straight to the fielder. Nepal lose their third wicket. Yeah, it's Gulsanja, the latest to be dismissed. He's gone for four. And Nepal have got themselves in a bit of trouble. It's 37 for three. Nepal ko ek agragami kukhra ko masu prasodan kendra Tapaile bhani ko jastu tayari raw meat Pre-cooked ra frozen chicken item haru Fresh, hygienic ra best quality ma pao na sakna hone cha Chaar dasak dekhi ko anmol sammanda lai jatan gar lai Valley Cold Store Banao cha healthy family Well then, the Ireland Wolves will certainly be thinking that they are in the game they pick up the third wicket, a big wicket off Gulshan Jha. But we all know that Nepal bat really deep and Sandeep Zora comes into the bat. He'll have to prove his mettle as well. Sandeep Zora has had plenty of opportunities but hasn't converted them into big scores. Googly to start with from White, showing all his variety. Good start for him. Five have been bolts. 37 for three. Benny, great over Good with Gaz here, lad. Yeah. Oh, Gaz. Good top spin. Come on, Gaz and D. Yeah, boy. Come on, lad. That's what he looked for. Here. No, no, I'm happy for him, but that's what he looked for, isn't it? Yes, guys. Okay, back live with you now. Oh! We just got a quick look at that potential batting order, what to come. You heard Monty Desai talk about a want for stability. Does that stability that he's looking for surely apply to the, the batting order as well? There's almost too many options. Absolutely, and I think that's, that's confusing our batters as well because when your rule is not clear, it certainly shows on the scorecard. Sandeep Zora there, three wickets for well so far, Rohit, Gulshan and Asif. They'll have to fix the batting order really very soon because Nepal are playing two massive tournaments. Come on, boys, hey! I think if you look at, at Sandeep Jora's Four recent six, innings, he's batted Come everywhere on. from number five all the way down, maybe to number eight. Think about the pair of Kushal Mala. Ah! It's gonna angle down, miss the leg stump, just a, a stifled appeal. Really, for me, numbers three to nine could almost go in any order. Problem is, outside of the two openers, who remain the same as you see it missing leg. And then your numbers 10 and 11 will be Rajbanshi and Bahara. Everyone else could go anywhere in that order. It was there to be hit. Sandeep Zora, a big heave, didn't connect it at all. Absolutely, and uh, Lenny, only Lalit and Avinash Bora. Two of the batters, two of the players were not known much for their batting, or else everybody else pretty capable with the bat. Karan Kesi has won Nepal plenty of matches, in fact, more than plenty with the bat. Sumpal Kami as well. Yeah, certainly, two fine batters have come in down at what will probably be number eight and nine. Yeah, just looking back, Jora batted. So good, Gareth. 
six in the first game of the Tri-Series, then he was left out for the second. Didn't play the third either, and then I think he might have got back in for the final. In fact, he wasn't used in the final either. It was Arif Sheikh who was being used in that role all the way down at number eight and number nine. So questions to answer for Nepal with their batting order. It's the end of the power play. And Nepal in a bit of trouble. 38 for three. Six from us here, fellas. Catch one host, Tesh Home Fiber Net Go Catch the Big Offer. Pound host, 100 Mbps, Samma Sadazar Pansi Bais, 200 Mbps, Sadazar Satse Atasi, Ra 300 Mbps, No Hazar No Se Barama, Ra Satma Pound Host, Free 5G Router. Well, then 38 over 3, two wickets for Delany, one for Ben White. So now, Ireland team, this Ireland Wolves team certainly believing that they are in the match 38 for 3. Five off boys, hey. Tom Mace has been introduced for the first time with the ball. And I introduce you, Ayush, into the combo box. Thank you, Sachin. Very good length. This two is the call straight away. Look for the second run, not, not there at all. So Mace considered one run off the first ball and Nepal will need partnership from here, Ayush. Well, absolutely, they need partnership at the moment. They have lost three wickets and the leg spinners, the Ireland Wolves doing a great job. You could just see the fall of wicket out there. They just lost it. We're just talking about lapse in concentration. Wilson Tsa was looking confident, but after that, a simplest of delivery to get rid of Gulshanja. Just played with soft hands on the Jordan. This is what they could do at the moment. They could just rotate the strike, keep the scoreboard ticking, and build a partnership from here, Sachin. Yeah, all over there, okay? 121, not a big score at all, but these low scores can be tricky. And we've seen low scores being defended at this venue in the crowd. They want Nepal to win this as soon as possible. Ireland A versus Nepal, Ireland Wolves, they're famously called. Played with soft hands. An overthrow will allow the Nepali batters, is not amused. Miss, they've allowed Nepali batters to take a single. It should have been a dot delivery. And every run matters, are you, especially when you're defending only 121. Well, absolutely, we're just defending 121 and you need to be quick in the field, you need to stop those overthrows, giving easy runs to your opponent. Three singles in this over so far. A good delivery, you could just nip that ball back into Sandeep Jora. We have seen Sandeep Jora struggling against the ball that is just nipping back towards him. And Tom Mace looks a really good bowler as well. He bowls in, he comes in hard gets that ball to come in with the angle Portal and Sandeep Zora at the center lost wickets early up Nepal Dot delivery again We're talking about Tom Mays he has that height he could generate that bounce from the wicket but it would be interesting to see Pacer coming in from the Chova end because we have seen those patches if you are batting from the TU end. A good over so far. This is how you could just apply that pressure over the Nepalese side and it's a decent total. They're just chasing 122 but it's all about the approach when you are chasing a decent total. Slow delivery, change in pace. Adjusted well. Sandeep Zora. And a tight over this by Tom Mays. Only four runs off the seventh over. 41, 42 for three is the score.
मैं मरुंज पार कर तिम्रो बुढ़ी ने देखे रिशा भर मंदिर हाई के Karit Jalani got two wickets in a single over and Ben White has been amazing as well with the ball very full wanted to slice it towards the offside in between that gap between point point and gully fielder as i said very very full almost had to dug it out take it out failing to do so a doubt delivery this is a heave or oh, dropped it was a very very easy catch it's liam mccarty who has dropped a sitter ben white cannot believe it wasn't a good shot from the bat of sandeep zora at all oh this should have been 43 for 4 42 for 4 in fact for the ireland's liking but this is a sitter an absolute sitter straight into his hand and out of it a lucky escape here for sandeep zora a lucky escape for sandeep zora that was just pressure just ah! to go after ben white he sensed that pressure being applied in sandeep zora was just trying to go after ben but he'll not be happy sachin it was an easy catch How often have you seen Nepali top order batters struggle against spinners at this venue? Not very often Ayush has been tremendous bowling this from the leg spinning duo. This time again forcing Sandeep Jhora to play that short around that fourth stump fifth stump. Yes Benny Wise. Yes, He's got a pretty decent action and such if you look at Ben White the release point of Ben White the height that he has could just generate that piece from the wicket as well generate that bounce again very full and this time the timing is there the placement is there and a much needed boundary for sandeep zora he was struggling at the center was dropped in the earlier part of this over this was bold really full and middle the ball perfectly and a boundary towards the extra cover reason for sandeep zora Brilliant placement. This time the googly just nipping back in. Back towards Sandeep Jhora. Well, that's the end of eight over. Nepal forty-eight for three. Catch it! अब तो पाइप पर ही कैच कौन होस? टेशोम फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर पाउंड होस 100 एमपीपीएस जब मैं 7,500 200 एमपीपीएस 7,700 रात्रियों 100 एमपीपीएस 9,900 से बारह माह रात सात माह पाउंड होस फ्री 5G राउटर All right, Matthew Humphries with his slow left-arm orthodox bowling, and at this point of time, Ayush Ireland were in a better position. The Ireland Wolves they were 51 for one, Nepal 51 for three, Nepal 48 for three. Oh yes, sir. Hasn't been a dream start for the Nepali batters at all. The top order struggling. Lovely that, Hump. Rohit Pordal dismissed in the second delivery, and then Gulshan Jha was out cheaply as well. Was a nothing delivery that was short, was wide. Was there to be punished, but hit it straight into the hands of the point fielder, and now uh, added responsibility on the shoulders of Kushal Burthil. Short again, wide was there to cut. 
straight to the fielder. One run to Kushal Burtel. Well, one thing good that the Irish bowlers are doing at the moment is they have learned from the first innings. They are giving that yes, pace in the ball. They are forcing the batsmen to generate that pace and play those strokes we have seen in the catch that was being dropped of Sandeep Jora as well. There was no pace in it. And this is one thing that they have learned from the first innings. And you can just see Humphreys as well. He's not offering that pace. Trying to create that room. Sandeep Jora for himself. That angle just coming back in. This is what I was mentioning, Ayush. How often have you seen Nepali batters struggle against spinners at this venue? I don't remember plenty of occasions as such. The spinners have stopped the run, run making. 73 near to 69. You still fancy Nepal to be the favorite here. Cut again, only a single. But the point is, Ayush, Nepal have struggled today. 50 for Nepal. Reached to the score of 50 now. Humphreys has conceded two runs in the fir first four balls. All he has to do is replicate what the previous spinners have done. Two magical bowlers today, Gerard Delaney and Ben White. It's time to, once again. The story has been seen. He knows that he is not offer that piece to Kushal Burtel. And one thing good about this over we have seen wickets coming in is Sachin that they are trying to apply that pressure over the new bats when you could just see a slip in place when Sandeep Jora was batting previously. Now they have removed it for Kushal Burtel. There is no slip in place. Neil Rock knows it. They need to take the wicket. The crowd relaxed. They still feel Nepal is on top, 51 for 3. They'll have to build a partnership whatsoever. Goes inside out this time. Could not find the fence. So that's the end of the ninth over. 52 for 3, Iron Wolves. Naya Adhyaya Naya Jinmewari Naya Gantavyalai Atma Zadkar अटल भाई अगी बढ़ते हैं लक्ष्यतर पलम कनी अधिक अटूट योद्धे था उच्च सोच योद्धे था आज को मजबूत निर्माण ले भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगर माता है योद्धे था तपाईं को समरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखे सिमेंट सगर माता योद्धे था सो 52 फॉर थ्री Nepal not at all getting the start they would have wanted. Did a fantastic job with the ball. Got the Ireland Wolves stuck at 121. Played on the rise. Very good looking shot. The fumble there will allow the Nepali batters to come back for the second run. Well, a good, good move there by skipper Neil Rock as well. We are talking about bringing your pacer from the Chova and you have got that grass patch from the TUN side and but this is a gamble I guess Sachin because the spinners were applying that pressure over both the batsmen and you've just brought in McCarthy Sandeep Jora is looking to go after the ballers he's not getting that connection he's going after the bowler he goes after the bowler once again Ayush and a boundary finally for Sandeep Jora Takes his individual score to 15 runs and this was much, much needed for him. Not to mention that he was dropped. It was a sitter. Makati was the culprit and he allowed Sandeep Zora a chance and this is what he can do uh, if he's dropped over the fielder. A short cover and a very good shot. Well, the spinners were applying pressure over both the batsmen. Bringing in Makati. We're talking about this could be a gamble at the moment because there was pressure applied to the Nepalese batsman. This time, just utilizing his height, generating that bounce from the wicket. That bounce like a tennis ball. He's not a tall man, Sandeep Zora. And look how high the ball went. He jumped for his bat to get to that delivery. But it went way past his head. 
as I said, it was almost a tennis ball kind of a bounce. So you mentioned Ayush, was it a good call to bring in McCarthy? He has already been expensive. He has given away seven runs in two balls. He's very disappointed this time with himself, Sandeep Zora. He went for the shot far too early. Could not time it at, well, uh, at all. Hang on, young man. You don't need to do much. It's only 122 that's required. You just see the feeling position now that you can see backward point, a short cover being placed in and there's a deep point. Just McCarthy just trying for that around that fourth stump, fifth stump, offering that room to Sandeep Jora. He has placed that field. Once again, he's trying for that delivery, but this time Sandeep Jora gets that boundary. He's looking now, he's getting that confidence, Sachin, after that boundary we're talking about. Exactly what you mentioned, Ayush. Was this a good choice for the Ayush captain to bring in Makati? Seems it's not because they have let Nepal out of that pressure, climb out of that pressure with which they have done. Two boundaries, a couple and a wide. Eleven runs already off the first of the first four deliveries, four legal deliveries. One was a wide, of course. And driven straight back. Football skills will not allow any run for Sandeep Zora. But this has been a fantastic over for Nepal. They needed a big over to get out of that pressure. They were slowly climbing on top of the Nepali batteries. The Ireland Wolves bowlers. 63 for 3. Nepal will not mind it because they're only chasing 122. Well, absolutely. We're talking about the move of bringing a seamer. Last ball of this over has been changed in the field. The third man comes up inside the 30 yard circle. Fine leg inside 30 yard circle. There's backward point, short cover, deep point, long on, long off. Speed with soft hands. Well, that's the end of 10th over. Nepal 64 for 3. Catch gun hose, Teshom fiber net go catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps, Chama 7,522, 200 Mbps, 7,788, Ra 300 Mbps, 9,912. Ra Satma pound hose, free 5G router. Valley Cornerstone. Nepal को एक अग्रगामी कुखुरा को मासु प्रसोधन केंद्र तपाईले भने को जस्तो तयारी रॉ मीट प्री कुक्ड र फ्रोजन चिकन आइटमहरू फ्रेश हाइजेनिक र बेस्ट क्वालिटीमा पाउन सक्नुहुनेछ चार दशक देखेको अनमोल सम्बन्धलाई जतन गर्दै भ्याली कोल्ड स्टोर बनाउँछ हेल्दी फ्यामिली भटकटे चाटिन भनेको भाजेले मरुन्जेल पार गर्यो तिम्रो बुढीले देखेर रिसायो भने म जान्दिन है के पनि Double Matcha Pack Pound Horse Double Data Validity na sa gilay gare ko hari kharit ma Matra ru ek se pachas de ki suru Naya Adhyaya Naya Jinmewari Naya Gantavya lai Aapma zaat kar dai Atal bhai Aghi bar dai Lakshatar palam kani Adig athol Yau dai cha Utsa soch Yau dai cha Aajako majboot nirmaan le भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगर माता योग्य था तपाई को समरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित रखने सिमेंट सगर माता योग्य था कैच अब तपाई पनि कैच कौन हो Teshom Fiber Net Co. Catch the big offer. Pound hose, 100 Mbps. Chama 7,522. 200 Mbps, 7,788. 300 Mbps, 9,912. Rasatma Pound Hose, free 5G router. 
So 64 for three, two wickets for Delaney, one for Ben White. The leg spinners, they have picked up all three wickets. I think Captain Neil Rock missed a card of his, bringing back McCarthy when the spinners were doing so well and the Nepali batters were struggling against the spinners. 16 of 11 for Asif Sheikh was LBW bowled out by Delaney. Delaney got another wicket of Rohit Portal in his second delivery, second, second delivery of the over. Four runs of five balls and Ben White got Gulshanja out and at the center are Sandeep Zora and the experienced Kusal Burtil. So partnerships, still nothing likely to be mentioned, likely to be mentioned. 20, 21 runs is the partnership, they'll need a big, bigger partnership. And meanwhile, the Irish team would look to pick up a few more wickets. Stays on the back foot, this time goes over the top of the infield, Sandeep Zora. Didn't repeat the mistake that Gulshan Zha did. Stood on the back foot and hit it straight in, into the hands of the fielder at point. Gulshan Zha, that's how he was dismissed. Now from here, Neil Rock could just use his spinners. Because this, this wicket is helping the spinners and we have seen Delaney and Ben White, if you look at their over, Delaney have already balled 11 dots. Whereas if you talk about yes, Ben White, 8 dot deliveries and this has been the difference if you compare it to the seamers or the spinners. Well, if you are around TU Cricket Ground, you are feeling hungry, you could just come here and enjoy this delicious meal from Valley Express. Gives himself that room, didn't get the middle of the bat, Kushal Burtal this time and the slightest of fumbles will allow the Nepali batters to complete the second run. We have plenty of offers as well, just won 5 in net, that's the replay of the couple run uh, of these two runs by this pair and this home 5 in net comes in with an exciting offer, a mouth watering offer, hashtag catch the big offer as just home five minute offers all the Nepalese with unprecedented unprecedentedly cheap internet with the fastest of speeds hashtag catch the big offer the speed has gone up and what has come down is the price of it what a great offer so catch your offer hashtag catch the big offer this time trying to play the reverse and well it goes out of the ground Sandeep Zora how do you describe this shot reverse hit the ball stuck the middle of his bat look at the power of this man the timing it has gone all the way fantastic strike this decided to go with the turn and the ball has gone to the audiences Well, we could just describe that previous shot as an unorthodox brilliance by Sandeep Jora. Well, that's the end of 11th over, Nepal 74 for 3. Catch it! Abba, Topai, Puri, Catch God Hoos. This show on Fibernet go catch the big offer. Free 5G router ka saath pound hoos. 100 Mbps baat sik 7,500 baat sik 200 Mbps baat sik 7,700 baat 300 Mbps baat sik 9,900 baat sik Catch the big offer now. So two big overs for Nepal. I put them on the top now 74 for 3. This partnership slowly building. Sandeep Zora making complete use of that drop catch by McCarthy. He's taking the outside ears of the bat. The ball will run. The third was inside the circle and a boundary. Not at all with Kushal Burtil intended, but boundary nevertheless. He will take them with both the hands. And we're witnessing a different Kushal Burtil at the moment. Sachin is taking his time. We know that Kusal Burtil loves attacking the ballers. He loves pace coming in. He's playing according to the situation. He knows that the wickets have been falling continuously from the other end. He needs to stay there. 
So 44 needed of 53 with seven wickets in hand. Nepal certainly the favourite. Dayang Dayan Rai there. Nepali superstar. As I mentioned, he loves cricket. The fanaticism has grown. Premeditated. The ball turned a bit. That's the reason why Kushal Burdal didn't wasn't able to play it fine went really square a run nevertheless and as you mentioned I used this is a very different inning from Kushal Burtil he's usually known to hammer the ballers out of the park 24 of 23 today taking that responsibility the brilliant partnership going at the moment for Nepal needed a googly this is what we are talking about from the start. We have seen Sandeep Zora struggling with the ball that is coming towards him. Be the seamers or the spinners. We have seen Sandeep Zora struggling. And I think Captain Rock missed the trick as well. When the spinners were bowling really well, I think in a low scoring match you should go for wickets. Very, very optimistic. Appeal that from Ben White. That would, have, that would have surely missed the sixth stump. Let's have a look at this in the replay. That stuck the pad way outside the line of off stump. Sometimes the bowlers, they only appeal to put pressure in the mind of the umpire. Easily done this. A single. Well, you could just sense that desperation for wicket in that optimistic appeal. But a much needed partnership going on at the moment. They needed it. Nepal, we have been talking about the change in batting order. Come here, lads. Keep going there, fellas. Very different approach this by Kushal Burtil. Ben White bowled really well today, especially in the first over of his. Too full this time. Hammered down the ground. They'll settle for a single. And the, that brings us to the end of the 12th over. Three down for 82. The Ireland Wolves. Valley Cone Store. Nepal ko ek agragami kukhra ko masu prasodan kendra. Tapaile bhani ko jastu tayari raw meat. Pre-cooked ra frozen chicken item haru. Fresh, hygienic ra best quality ma pauna sakna hone cha. Char dasak dekhi ko anmol sammanda lai jatan gar lai. Valley Cone Store. Banao cha healthy family. Well, the skipper just using that trick, just bringing in spinners. He knows that the seamers has not been able to find that correct line and length. The spinners have been doing their job pretty well. The wicket is supporting them. The Irish team would be definitely looking to break this partnership. One little mistake here. Well, that one over from McCarthy, which was balling in from the Chova end, gave that momentum oh. to the Nepalese side. So the Irish side, they'll need wickets now. One may not be enough. This partnership slowly taking the match away from them. They needed a great start with the ball. They got one as well, but they could not carry on with that momentum. Down the ground, easily played. One more single. And Kushal Burtil has presented a different side of his today. Hasn't been overtly aggressive. He's played according to the merit of the delivery. And Sandeep Zora, his batting at 29 or 30, took some time for himself to settle in this is a brilliant hit straight down the ground out of the ground oh this is a humongous hit 
It was bold full, all right. But this blow off the bat of Sandeep Zora, tremendous hit. Let's have a look at this. Straight over the side screen. Where does it land? A massive, massive strike this. Easy pickings for Sandeep Zora. If it's in his arc, the ball will go out of the park. Well, 32 required of 45 deliveries. Well, this is what you could do against Sandeep Zora. Just Try those googlies against him. We've seen him struggling. We've been talking about that as well. Coming in awesome guys. towards him. But a much needed partnership for Nepali side. But Ireland will definitely be looking to break this partnership if they want to bring that momentum towards themselves, Sachin. Brilliant Gaza. Awesome Ireland will need something miraculous from here, Ayush, right, if they want to snatch this match back from Nepal. Because at this point of time, Nepal 90 for 3. They only need 32 runs to win. Just over 7, and, uh, seven overs in hand. Touch! A single to end the 13th over, 91 for 3. Cornerstone. Nepal ko ek agragami kuchra ko masu prasodan kendra. Tapaile bhane ko jastu tayari raw meat, pre cooked ra frozen chicken item haru fresh, hygienic ra best quality ma pauna sakno hone cha. Char dasak dekhi ko anmol sammanda lai jatan garnai. Bali Cornerstone. Banau cha healthy family. Double matcha pack. Pound horse double data. Validity na sakhi nai gare ko harik gharid ma. Matra ru ek se pachas dekhi shuru. Thirty-one runs required from forty-two deliveries. A brilliant partnership going in middle for the Nepalese side, Sandeep Zora and Kusal Burtel. Fifty-four runs partnership in forty-nine deliveries. The major contributor, Sandeep Zora, was struggling at the start, but got that confident. But a different version of Kusal Burtel that we are witnessing at the moment. Kusal, we have seen Kusal struggling against the spinners. He loves peace. Coming in towards him. Well, there's a change in commentary box as well. Oh, wicket. This is what it was needed. It was a slower of delivery. Sandeep Jora just trying to play that shot. And after Laney just comes back in the commentary box, Ireland Wolves have broken that partnership. Well, I try never to use this expression because we don't have it back in Ireland. But the look of the Irish. Maybe a little sign there for Tom Mays. Very cleverly bowled off cutter. High in his gather. Wraps his index finger right over the ball. And it's a good catch again. Stephen Dohany's had a good day. 46 with the bat now and two very good takes with the gloves. And that gives Ireland maybe just a small window. The game still being taken away from them thanks to that drop from McCarthy down at long off. Jordan's gone. Can't get a second life for 36. It's 91 for four. Catch the big offer. Free 5G router cassette, pound hose, 100 Mbps, basic, 7,500 by smart. 200 Mbps, basic, 7,700 by 300 Mbps, basic, 9,000 no Catch the big offer. Dependra Singh Iri to the crease. The Tiger, very much a fan favorite. Got a big cheer. Once you're on commercial break there. Really surprised not to see Kushal Maliyat hidden all the way down at well, maybe number seven or eight. Well, absolutely, there's been change in the batting order. Look at the delivery off cutter, just trying to slash that. Good work there by Dohani. He has been so good with the gloves so far. And the ID, the new batsman in. Well, a different version of Kusal Burtel, you guess, Lenny? Yeah, he's battled a bit, isn't he? Happens sometimes at the top. Good piece of field in this time. At backwards point. It's Ross Adair going to his weaker side. He'll bowl left-handed. He'll throw left-handed, but he'll bat right-handed. Former professional rugby player. 
yeah, look, I think Nepal will get home. I think they should get home comfortably enough. But there's been, well, maybe a few questions for them with the bat. Not so much with the ball in the field. They were excellent there. Let's see, 15 runs the difference between the two sides at this stage. But certainly with the bat, there's problems. Good piece of fielding down at deep third. Morgan Topping gets his body on the line to save a few. And yeah, for Bertel, he's probably just not in his best form. So he's spending some time in the middle. Nothing wrong with that. Well, absolutely. A brilliant feeling effort out there. Well, you could catch all the highlights in uh, Cricket Association of Nepal social media. Well, we are witnessing great reels in recent time. Dependra Singh Lairi. Driven. You could just sense something when Dipinder Singh Airi is there in the crease. We have seen that Lenny for a long period of time as well. The scoreboard keeps on ticking because he has that ability to just convert those singles into doubles. He's very attacking when he's playing those shots. A risky player, Dipinder Singh Airi. But absolutely talking about Kusal Burteli, just enjoying that time in the crease, trying to get that form. Another little cutter from Mays, who's just come back nicely for his second over as a wicket. You know, although Dependra Singh <laughs> wants the second, Bertel sends him back. And the four runs from the 14th over. Nepal, 95 for four. <laughs> Double Matcha Pack Pound Horse Double Data Validity na sakin dahi gare ko har ek kharid ma Matra ru 150 de ki suru So for Ireland just trying to drag this out as much as they can maybe can they find a 5th or a 6th wicket It's fair to say Ben White's probably been the pick of the bowlers as well Well absolutely Ben, ben White has been bowling those dot deliveries pretty, pretty well he's applying that pressure if you talk about the Nepali side, there has been so many changes in the batting order. I guess this is what we are talking about from the morning that Coach oh, Monte Desai trying to oh, find that boy. stability in the batting order. But you have, you have that sort of player who could bat at any position that Lenny was also talking about apart from the openers and the two ballers. I don't think those figures do Ben White justice. He usually should have had a second wicket, could have had a third as well. He's just come back from a stress fracture. The back, all of the talk leading into that T20I series in the UAE was about Rashid Khan, understandably. One of the biggest stars of the world game. But for Ireland to get one of their foremost leg spinners back, for me, Delaney is still learning. I know he's had some good numbers, particularly in the T20 World Cup in 2022. But I think ben, and ben White has the potential to be your premier wrist spinner in the country. But this time, Dependra Singh Airi gets underneath one. And that has gone high, handsome, it's gone miles. The Tiger cashes in with a terrific blow down the ground for six. The hundred's up. Well, a brilliant shot there by Dipendra Singh Airi. Ben White, we're just talking about, look at the delivery. We're just trying to find that length. It was a gift to Dipendra Singh Airi, a lower full toss. Well, Ben White knew it from the moment it struck the bat, that it's going out of the ground. Well, for a new batsman, you're just joining the crease and you get this sort of full toss. This is just a confidence booster. But one good thing about Neil Rock captaincy is today, he has been that attacking captaincy. Uh, Lenny, we have seen that slip in place, trying to apply that press over the new batsman. It's the googly, into the back of the hand. You'll see it clearly from your screens at home. You'll see the ball rather than the back of the palm. Now it's more yes, difficult man. for the batter facing. It's always easier to pick a googly on, from behind. So one. this time, if it's the leg break, you see it on release, you'll see the back of the hand. Is the leg break and chipped in the ground for just a single. Yeah, I think Ireland will take plenty from today, but they're going to be roundly beaten. We're talking about understanding the conditions pretty well after the first game, after this game. They've understood the condition. We could just sense it while they were balling in the spinners coming into ball. Oh, 
once again it was a googly but talking about ben white axon lenny it's a decent axon when it comes to the wrist at the last moment he just changes his wrist and as a baller you'd always have that advantage while balling to just deceive the batsman his real strength has, has been in this shortest format i think many were surprised when he got a couple of test matches in sri lanka in very difficult conditions out there not a huge amount of success but he bowled stump to stump just like that at a very good flat pace so much more difficult with the red ball to garner success but he's very consistent with the white ball and that's going to end his four over spell he will finish with four overs one for 27 nepal 105 for four अब तो पाइप पर कैच कर रहे हों, देश शोम फाइबर नेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर, फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड हों, 100 एमबीपीएस बासिक 7,500 बाइस मार, 200 एमबीपीएस बासिक 7,780, और 300 एमबीपीएस बासिक 9,912 मार, कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ। गैरेथ डेलेनी विल बॉल हिज फोर्थ टू विकेट्स फॉर हिम, इकोनॉमिकल एस वेल very different kinds of bowlers. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? They're both wrist spinners, no doubt. And even though they're both flat through the air, just got three or four overs sitting with Jagat Tamata, the Nepal under-19 head coach, while I was off air. And he was really surprised by how fast Ireland spinners were bowling, and that's probably a byproduct of having played a little bit more in different conditions to these ones. We saw Mala and Kushal Bertel being very slow through the air, even sometimes Raj Banshi being teasing and tempting too. Something you'll learn as you get used to the surfaces. Predominantly, they've been very flat, haven't they, as a trajectory, Ireland spinners? Well, absolutely. Delaney and Ben White, balling with those flatter trajectory, They're not offering that loop in the ball, not giving that enough time. Look at Deependra Singh, he's just trying to go after Delaney, not get that connection. And it's really well played. He's got it very, very straight. Good use of the feet. He's got such quick feet, doesn't he? To Pendra Singh Iri, he knows the ball's going to be flat. Runs at Delaney, smashes it down the ground for four. Just look at that reach tour coming into play. And there was an effort, but could not stop the ball. The power, we could just sense it. To Pendra Singh Iri just using his wrist. And trying to create that room for himself. Well, look at the Pendra Singh. He's already down half of the crease looking for that run. I just love the energy, the vibrancy, the athleticism and skill that he brings. I think it's a difficult puzzle to work out for Nepal, this batting order. Look at the speed. I think he'd have got home for two here comfortably. Bertel said, no, no, please don't. I don't think it's easy for them to know from three to well three to eight, let's say, three to seven in particular, what way to put the jigsaw together. I have to remember there's such a difference between this format and ODI cricket. So the best spots for some batters in ODIs will be completely different. And this is cut away now. He's toying with Delaney, these two, Bertel and Irie. Nicely played. Bertel gets his strike rate above 100 for the first time in the innings. Four more. Kushal Bhutel just playing that shot. Ball was around that foot stump reason. Just using his wrist pretty well. The fielder was inside the 30-yard circle. Just doing with the field, Kushal Bhutel. A different Kushal Bhutel, which I was just talking about. This time a full toss, swept it. And it will reach the boundary. Back-to-back -back boundary for Kushal Bhutel. Well, not a good over, I have to say, from Gareth Delaney. And something... We saw, I know these two boundaries have come from Bertel, but it's driven by the energy, the enthusiasm of Iri. And all of a sudden, Nepal are just one away. It's that one delivered, the Mark Wacht esque delivery from 23, 24 yards, but turns into a juicy full toss. And this is all going to be over in a matter of seconds for Nepal. They're going to go 1 0 up in the series. And Kushal Bertel says, You hit the winning runs to Pendra Singh Iri. 16 bold, 1 1 8 for 4. Naya Adhyaya Naya Jinmewari Naya Gantavya Aapma Saat Kar Nai A 
अटल भाई अगी बढ़ते लम कन्हे अधिक अठोर योग्य था उच्च सोच इतनी था आज को मजबूत निर्माण ले भविष्य सुनिश्चित कर सगर माता योग्य था तपाईं के समरचनालाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षिता है सिमेंट सगर माता योग्य था Well, four runs required now for Nepal to just win this game and go one up in the series. Dipendra Singh Airi and Kushal Burtiel. Well, just look at Dipendra Singh Airi. 16 of 11 deliveries. Kushal Burtiel just playing runner ball innings. He's staying there in the crease. Taking that responsibility from one end. A 27 run partnership in se from 17 deliveries. You could just sense it like after Dipendra Singh Airi just came in. It's 4 to win here for Nepal to start the series in fine style. Nairi wanted to finish it with one blow and that's what he's going to do. What a cameo from the Tiger himself. 20 off 12 balls and a smile on his face. So too Kushal Bertels. Well, the journey to the T20 World Cup, it started here today for Nepal in Kathmandu in fine style. It's a six wicket victory. They've done it at a canter. The Irish Wolves have been beaten out of sight. And that's the winning moment for Dependra Singhairi. Dependra Singhairi just doing with the field. Hitting that winning run. He knows it. He's just thinking it to Kushal Burtel. Actually did not connect that ball pretty well, but it was the power and the placement. But you need to give credit to the way Ireland came in the came back in the game. Picked up that three crucial wicket. The spinners were just doing their job pretty well. Different conditions for them. It's freezing cold out there in Ireland coming in to Nepal for the first time. As we were mentioning in the first innings as well, an alien type of condition. You win the toss and electing to bat first. Just understanding the conditions, but the spinners have done the job pretty well. This is a strong Irish side. And Nepal winning the game by six wicket. And you can just see Kushal Burtel playing that not out innings. We're talking about Kushal Burtel looking for his form. And a happy Nepali side. Yeah, really comprehensive. I think Ireland will have enjoyed the experience. They'll have learnt an awful lot. Well, I'm not sure if they win the toss tomorrow, whether or not they'll be batting first. But a real sort of baptism of fire for these young men. Plenty of learnings to be taken. Some good performances. Stephen Donnie in particular, Ben White, Gareth Delaney with those couple of wickets as well. And they're playing against a fine Nepal side who are Certainly under this man, Monty Desai, a rejuvenated, remarkable force in all formats. And you would think that this is just the first step towards that T20 World Cup, a massive ACC men's premiere next month in Oman too, with an Asia Cup spot on the line. But the Nepali Rhinos have left the fans very happy with a comfortable victory. Well, so much of chopping and changes going on in that lineup. From the Canada series, we have seen that the Netherlands and Namibia are coming in. The batting order has been has been changing. Just going to look at the best of the batting highlights here, with the occasional fumble in the outfield as well. Kushal Bertel was watchful, and Asif Sheikh played a nice little flourish before he was dismissed. He took a liking to Fionn Hand. And they had a decent partnership, the opening partnership. He was looking fabulous the way he started off, but we've seen Asif Sheikh struggling against spinners. Look at that movement out there, brilliant flick shot. Sandeep Jora was struggling at the start, but the way Sandeep Jora took that innings, building that partnership with Kusal Burtel at one point of time, the Irish Wolves side was gaining that momentum with three wickets. And after that, this partnership that we're talking about, the partnership between Kushal Bhutel and Sandeep Jora. And Dipendra Singh Airi, after he came in, he just played that aggressive cricket. Not giving any time for the ballers to settle in. It's attacking every baller, is rotating the strike, going after loose deliveries. Kushal Bhutel, just a different Kushal Bhutel that we're talking about. Not the natural Kushal Bhutel that we have seen. Yes, slightly uncharacteristic innings from Bertel. It was one of control. I think one that he's just indicating he wants some time in the middle. Don't think that's a bad thing. He doesn't need to blast away from ball one. He's ended up 
with a not out. He's ended up with 37 off 32. It was exactly what the situation required. Ire wanted to get it done in a hurry though, and a flying little 20 off just 12 deliveries, two fours and a six for him. You see that batting card as you see. 16 of 11 deliveries after that. Kushal Burtiel, a brilliant innings from Kushal Burtiel that we were talking about. The wickets were falling from another end, but Kushal Burtiel just stayed there, played that calm, composed, and a matured innings. And to support him, it was Sandeep Jora who came in, and a brilliant partnership between Kushal Burtiel and Sandeep Jora. And at the end, it was Dipendra Singh Airi finishing things off with that attacking cricket. In partnership that what we are talking about, Asif Sheikh and Kushal Burtiel, 32 of just 20 deliveries after that. An important partnership between Kushal Burtiel and Sandeep Jora. Sandeep Jora having the highest contributor in that, and Dipendra Singh Airi and Kushal Burtiel. 31 runs partnership for 18 deliveries. And there is that renowned lap of honor from Nepal. Always so thankful, so grateful to their fans. We didn't see Kushal Mala wasn't needed with the bats. Here's the wickets. Four of them fell. The first one went to Gareth Delaney. It was good enough and then an excellent catch from Stephen Dohany behind. Gulshan Jha will be a bit disappointed with that one. And then a clever little off cutter again. An excellent catch from Dohany with the gloves. Just the four breakthroughs for Ireland. They'll have plenty to reflect upon. Game number two in the series which will come around quickly tomorrow at one o'clock. Well that's the bowling summary for you. Six ballers being used and the pick of the ballers that we're talking about, the two leg spinners, Delaney and Ben White. The fall of wickets, you could just see that um, Nepal lost wicket, three wickets in quick succession and at the end it was Kushal Burtel and Dipendra Singh Airi finishing the thing for Nepal. Well that's it, Nepal won the game by six wickets. The first game of Ireland Wolves Tour of Nepal leading the series. So that will wrap it up for the in-match coverage, but do stay with us. We'll have the post-match presentation with myself, Andrew Leonard, in a few moments' time. Don't go anywhere too far. Nepal 1-0 up in the series. Really impressive performance. They win by six wickets. Early, cool stone. नेपाल को एक अग्रगामी कुखुरा को मासू प्रसोधन केंद्र तपाईले भने को जस्तो तयारी रॉ मीट प्री कुक्ड र फ्रोजन चिकन आइटमहरू फ्रेश हाइजेनिक र बेस्ट क्वालिटीमा पाउन सक्नुहुनेछ चार दशक देखि को अनमोल सम्बन्धलाई जतन गर्दै भ्याली कोल स्टोर बनाउँछ हेल्दी फ्यामिली भन्दै चाहिँ दिन भनेको भाजेले मरुञ्जोल कर गर्यो तिम्रो बुढीले देखेर रिसायो भने म जान्दिन है के पनि अब तो पाइप पर ही कैच करने होंगे देशों फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड होंगे 100 एमबीपीएस बात से 7,522 मार्च 200 एमबीपीएस बात से 7,788 और 300 एमबीपीएस बात से 9,912 मार्च कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ डबल मत जापैक पाउंड होंगे डबल डाटा वैलिडिटी ना सकी नहीं करें को हर एक खरीद अब तो पाइप पर ही कैच करने होंगे देशों फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड होंगे 100 एमबीपीएस बात से 7,522 मार्च 200 एमबीपीएस बात से 7,788 और 300 एमबीपीएस बात से 9,912 मार्च कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ नया अध्याय नया जिम्मेवारी नया गंतलाई आत्मसात करने अटल भाई अगी बढ़ते लक्षतर पलम कनी अड़ीक अठोट योद्धे था उच्च सोच योद्धे था आज को मजबूत निर्माण ले भविष्य सुनिश्चित कर जगर माता योद्धे था तपाईं की समरचना लाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित रहे संत जगर माता योद्धे था
अब तपाईं पनि क्याच गर्नुहोस् देशोम फाइबर नेटको क्याच द बिग अफर फ्री 5G राउटर का साथ पाउनुहोस् 100 Mbps वार्षिक 7522 मा 200 Mbps वार्षिक 7788 रो 300 Mbps वार्षिक 9912 मा क्याच द बिग अफर नाउ पाली कोल स्टोर नेपाल को एक अग्रगामी कुखुरा को मासू प्रसोधन केंद्र तपाईले भने को जस्तो तयारी रॉ मीट प्री कुक्ड र फ्रोजन चिकन आइटम हरू फ्रेश हाइजेनिक र बेस्ट क्वालिटी मा पाउन सक्नु हुने छ चार दशक देखि को अनमोल सम्बन्ध लाई जतन गर्दै भ्याली कोल स्टोर बनाउँछ हेल्दी फ्यामिली अब तपाईं पनि क्याच गर्नुहोस् देशोम फाइबर नेटको क्याच द बिग अफर फ्री 5G राउटर का साथ पाउनुहोस् 100 Mbps वार्षिक 7522 मा 200 Mbps वार्षिक 7788 रो 300 Mbps वार्षिक 9912 मा क्याच द बिग अफर नाउ बन्दै चाल्दिन भनेको भाजेले मरुन्जेल कर गर्यो तिम्रो बुढीले देखेर रिसायो भने म जान्दिन है के पनि अब तपाईं पनि क्याच गर्नुहोस् देशोम फाइबर नेटको क्याच द बिग अफर फ्री 5G राउटर का साथ पाउनुहोस् 100 Mbps वार्षिक 7522 मा 200 Mbps वार्षिक 7788 रो 300 Mbps वार्षिक 9912 मा क्याच द बिग अफर नाउ डबल मज्जा पैक पाउनुहोस् डबल डाटा भ्यालिडिटी नसकिदै गरेको हरेक खरिदमा मात्र रु 150 देखि सुरु अब तपाईं पनि क्याच गर्नुहोस् देशोम फाइबर नेटको क्याच द बिग अफर फ्री 5G राउटर का साथ पाउनुहोस् 100 Mbps वार्षिक 7522 मा 200 Mbps वार्षिक 7788 रो 300 Mbps वार्षिक 9912 मा क्याच द बिग अफर नाउ नया अध्याय नया जिम्मेवारी नया गन्तव्य आत्मसात गर्दै अटल भई अघि बढ्दै लक्ष्यतर्फ लम्कनी अधिक अठोट यौटै छ उच्च सोच यौटै छ आजको मजबूत निर्माणले भविष्य सुनिश्चित गर्ने सगरमाथा यौटै साइट संरचनालाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राख्ने सिमेन्ट सगरमाथा यौटै छ अब तपाईं पनि क्याच गर्नुहोस् देशोम फाइबर नेटको क्याच द बिग अफर फ्री 5G राउटर का साथ पाउनुहोस् 100 Mbps वार्षिक 7522 मा 200 Mbps वार्षिक 7788 रो 300 Mbps वार्षिक 9912 मा क्याच द बिग अफर नाउ पाली कोल स्टोर नेपाल को एक अग्रगामी कुखुरा को मासु प्रसोधन केंद्र तपाईले भने को जस्तो तयारी रॉ मीट प्री कुक्ड र फ्रोजन चिकन आइटम हरू फ्रेश हाइजेनिक र बेस्ट क्वालिटी मा पाउन सक्नु हुने छ चार दशक देखि को अनमोल सम्बन्ध लाई जतन गर्दै भ्याली कोल स्टोर बनाउँछ हेल्दी फ्यामिली अब तपाईं पनि क्याच गर्नुहोस् देशोम फाइबर नेटको क्याच द बिग अफर फ्री 5G राउटर का साथ पाउनुहोस् 100 Mbps वार्षिक 7522 मा 200 Mbps वार्षिक 7788 रो 300 Mbps वार्षिक 9912 मा क्याच द बिग अफर नाउ बन्दै चाल्दिन भनेको भाजेले मरुन्जेल कर गर्यो तिम्रो बुढीले देखेर रिसायो भने म जान्दिन है के पनि
अब तो पाइल पर ही कैच कर होस डिशोम फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड होस 100 Mbps बासिक 7,522 मार 200 Mbps बासिक 7,788 और 300 Mbps बासिक 9,912 मार कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ डबल मत जापैक पाउंड होस डबल डाटा वैलिडिटी ना सकी नहीं गरे को हर एक खरीद मार मात्र रू 150 तक अब तो पाइल पर ही कैच कर होस डिशोम फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड होस 100 Mbps बासिक 7,522 मार 200 Mbps बासिक 7,788 और 300 Mbps बासिक 9,912 मार कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ नया अध्याय नया जिम्मेवारी नया गंतव्य लाई मजाक कर रही अटल भाई अगि बढ़ते लक्ष्य तर पलम करनी अधिक अठोल योद्धे था उच्च सोच योद्धे था आज को मजबूत निर्माण ले भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने कर्माता योद्धे था तपाईं के समरचनालय जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित रखे सिमेंट सगर माथा योद्धे था अब तो पाइल पर ही कैच कर होस डिशोम फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड होस 100 Mbps बासिक 7,522 मार 200 Mbps बासिक 7,788 और 300 Mbps बासिक 9,912 मार कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ Twenty of just twelve balls and included two fours and one six. It goes to Dependra Singari. So Dependra will receive his check for seven and a half thousand rupees from Mr. Mani Ram Pokro and pose for a photo as well. Dippy, great to see you striking in such style as always. Now we're going to have three awards all throughout this series. The second award is going to be for the Mansara Most Valuable Player of the Match. And I'd like to call upon my presenter. He's a very familiar face. That's Mr. Diahang Rai, who's a very famous actor here in Nepal. Great to see you, Diahang. And thank you for your support. Dandavad. They're going to receive a cheque for 7,500 rupees and the bowlers, particularly Nepal spin bowlers, were exceptional today. He bowled four overs, took two for 26. It goes to Lalit Rajbanchi. So Lalit's going to receive his cheque for 7,500 rupees for the Mansara, most valuable player of the match. And pose for a photo as well. Now we're going to have to wait and see who the player of the match is because we're going to speak first to both captains, starting with Ireland Wolves captain, Neil Rock. Neil, hard luck out there. Firstly, how was the experience, your first time ever in Kathmandu, the first Irish side to ever play here? What was it like? Yeah, it was incredible. A uh, bunch of bigger crowds than we used to back home. Um, so it's a bit of an eye-opener for us and something we'll have to get used to for the series. Was there a few nerves out there, it felt to me, up in the commentary box? A few little fumbles and misfields, maybe a few errant strokes. Was that all, all part of the process today? Yeah, I'm sure there was. You know, as I said, it's our first time playing in front of a crowd like that, so it's kind of expected, but um, can't really be an excuse from going on forward. In terms of the score, 121 all out, do you feel that was well short of par? What did you want to, to get to, having won the toss and, and chosen to bat first? Uh, initially, it would have been a lot higher than that. Then we probably thought 140, 150 um, would have given us a real chance. Uh, even then, I did feel we were in the game. We had them 40 for three, but that was probably down to uh, two legs spinners blowing very well rather than the most being anywhere near par, really. 
In terms of the positives, Stephen Doheny, I thought, batted really nicely for his 46, and those two leg spinners uh, were excellent. It's not going to get any easier for you straight back into action tomorrow. Can you turn things around against what's a very impressive Nepali side? Yeah, hopefully. I think we've put plenty of room for improvement, which is quite exciting. You know, I think in all three facets we can improve. Um, I think I said Stephen played very well, especially it wasn't easy for him. We were losing wickets around him, and then two leg spinners were, were very good as well. It's great to have you here in Nepal. Hard luck today. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Okay, Neil Rock, understandably, a little disappointed after what was a heavy enough defeat. Six wickets was the margin. Let's speak now to the captain of Nepal. It's Rohit Peril. Rohit, pretty much a, a dream performance, particularly with the, the ball and in the field. Let's start with that. Was that where you want to be at with your bowling and your fielding? Uh, yeah, I think uh, as a bowling, we, we did a good job, uh, especially restricting Ireland Wolves uh, in one, 122 runs. I think that was great. And uh, I think as a batting unit, uh, we gave uh, two, three wickets. Uh, so in that area, we, have, uh, we can improve. Uh, so yeah. Tell us about the, the bowling options you have. You told me at the toss you picked lots of seamers. You didn't bowl too many of them. You bowled lots of spin. Kushal Bertel again with those part-time leg breaks to the fore. Kushal Mala bowled nicely and, and Lala Rajbanshi as effective as ever. Yeah, we, we didn't thought that uh, the, the ball will turn that much. Uh, and then after we had options, uh, especially Kusal, Kusal Dai were there, uh, Dipi Dai was there. So I think option was always there. And uh, as soon as we thought that a wicket is turning, then uh, we went to our spin bowling attack. And yeah, as, the, uh, as Kusal Dai, Lali Dai, Kusal Malla, everyone bowled really well. The only negative today, potentially, is, is those slight struggles early with the bat. 37 for 3 after that flying start from Asif Sheikh. Is it almost too many options you have in the middle order? It's kind of a jigsaw puzzle. You don't quite know how to stitch it together. We didn't even see Kushal Mala bat today. Yeah, I think uh, that, that that is the area where we can improve in today's game, uh, especially uh, mine wicket and, and then uh, Asif says wicket went in the same over. And then after uh, uh, next over, I think uh, Kusal, uh, Gulson go, also got out, out. So I think that, that is the area where we can improve. And yeah, um, everyone will not get opportunity in the same game. Uh, you're, you're, you're chasing 122 runs, so I think everyone will not get the opportunity. But still, uh, whoever got the opportunity, they utilized it. Finally, just maybe a word for Ireland. It must be fantastic to have a, a full member nation, a test nation here with their, their Wolves side. There's plenty of positives for them too. Yeah, absolutely. They, uh, they, they have been a very good team, uh, especially. Uh, and um, I think today's uh, was not their day, but hopefully they'll come back strong tomorrow, tomorrow, in tomorrow's game. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for chatting to me as always. Okay, that's Rohit Peiro, the captain of Nepal. Okay, we've got one award left. It's the big one as well. We're going to call upon, firstly, the presenter of the trophy. If I can get the trophy presenter to come up, that's Mr. Ramesh Sapkota. He's an executive vice president of Dish Home. And this is going to be for the player of the match. And they're also going to receive a check for 10,000 rupees in a few moments' time. There's plenty of options, mainly from the Nepal end. But with his leg spin bowling, two for 17, and an innings of 37 not out, it goes to Kushal Bertel. So Kushal will firstly receive his check, excuse me, his trophy, from Ramesh Sapkota, the executive vice president of Dish Home. And then they're also going to receive a check now for 10,000 rupees. That'll be presented by Mr. Dipesh Mala. It's the Valley Express player of the match, and they're going to receive a 10,000 rupees check as well. Give them a round of applause. Player of the match today, the Valley Express player of the match, it's Kushal Bertel. Kushal, come in and have a quick chat to me. You were trying to run away. Many congratulations. That was an innings. Let's start with your batting. Maybe not one that you'd usually play. You, you took your time. You are happy to spend some time in the middle. Uh, thank you so much, first of all. Uh, yeah, Asif went really well in the power play, so that's why I... Uh, the wicket is not also so good today. Uh, the spinners bowled really well. The wicket is... For spinner is double pace, so I bet through the innings. In terms of that opening partnership with Steve Sheikh, it's something that continues to be very important for you at the top. And then when you lost those three wickets, you had to change your game a little bit. Yeah, we had a great start with Asif, but uh, uh, in the flip where we lost two wickets with Rohit and last, in the last power play Gulson. Then uh, Sandeep comes in, uh, he makes me easy. Uh, he, he plays with the aggressive shots and uh, later Sandeep comes in and he makes easy and a good chase. How much are you looking forward to the, the months ahead? You've got an ACC Premier Cup in Oman and then a T20 World Cup. It must be the stuff of dreams for you and, and for every Nepali cricketer. Yeah, really excited for the tournament. Uh, we are working really hard uh, from this game and we are, go we are go going to India in the next week. So uh, the preparation for the Asia Cup is from today. So we are looking forward to it.
Okay, before you go, leg spin bowling. You're turning into an all-rounder. You went nice and slow through the air, picked up two wickets. You're happy with how they came out? Uh, happy, but to be honest, uh, most of the ball are not in the areas today. But happy to got those two wickets, so really happy. Kushal, you're the Valley Express player of the match. Well done. Thank you. Okay, that's going to wrap it up from the post-match presentation. The good news, we've got more action. It's tomorrow, the same time, 1 o'clock. We'd love to see a big crowd. You can get those tickets in advance on IME Payer. You can join me and all the team live on Action Sports HD. You can download that Dish Home Go app too. Thanks so much for watching us today. We'll see you tomorrow. अब तो पाइप पर कैच कर हो, दिशों फाइबर नेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर, फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड हो, 100 एमबीपीएस बात से 7,500 स्मार्ट, 200 एमबीपीएस बात से 7,780, और 300 एमबीपीएस बात से 9,900 बारमा, कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ। बंद करें चार दिन वाले को भाज ले मॉर्निंग जोर कॉल करें, तीमर बुड़ी ले देख रहे डिसाइड बनो मजा 